small oh i'm gone oh hi we're really small do you think cheerios would be like donuts like we were like really small like 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 can of coke size would cheerios be our new donuts would we even think to make donuts at that size because you know if you're i mean our cities would just be tiny honestly like it'd be easier to make food Uh, wait hang on if everything else was like the size it is now, and we were like really tiny, like the size of a can of Coke, society would be very different, I think. <laughs> and this is what we're in for today, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Bibby's little silly, goofy extra stream that we're doing on Wednesday. Anything could happen. The flow could be wild. We have some stuff we're planning on doing. But, like, anything could happen. They flew it on Cheerios and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's right, they did. They were, like, way smaller. Though. They were, like, smaller than ants in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But yeah, they did float on Cheerios. Do, I mean, Cheerios, I guess Cheerios do float in milk. They do float. I haven't seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in a long time. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids freaked me out as a little baby Big B. Extra, extra stream all about it. That's it. Hang on, let's look up Honey, I, look, I Shrunk the Kids. This is going to be real chill. I know I say that a lot, but like more than usual, this is going to be chill because we got no agenda, no whatever. We're just doing some brackets. I have some brackets ready to go that we can vote on and debate over. Oh, hang on. Let me look up Honey, I Shrunk Them Kids. I can't. Honey, I done shrunk them kids. I'm glad it gives me the same results. Honey, I done shrunk them kids. You know, I want to look at the the scorpion freaked me out as a kid. Yeah, look at that. Look how terrifying that is. Ah, dang, honey. I shrunk the doggone kids. Like, the ants are scary. It, the, the, look how scary the scorpion is. It's they're like living in a Lego with the scorpion is coming after him. Why is there a red crimson scorpion in what I believe to be, like, middle America? Do scorpion like, big red scorpions? The size of, I guess that's not a big red scorpion. It's about the size of a Lego. It's a little bigger than a Lego. That's a pretty small scorpion. It killed the it did kill the ant dog. That's right. They had a dog. Like this is their little ant dog, and the scorpion killed it. The scorpion's a monster. Truly one of the greatest villains in all of media history. That one blunt bird. You have scorpions in the Pacific Northwest. I know there are scorpions. I I live around that area, and I have yet to encounter a scorpion. I don't want to. Somebody at work keeps warning me that at some point I will I will run into a scorpion, and that I live in fear of that day. So is this the model they made? Yeah, it's, it must be their prop scorpion. I didn't used to be afraid of scorpions because like I I do not like spiders, but. Like, I had no problem with scorpions. Yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids was a, I mean, 
I don't think it was a great movie. I remember not liking it as a kid, but it practically it was really good. The practical effects were fantastic. There's a whole section of Disney World dedicated to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. What's that game that came out recently where you're a, it's basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids or you got to fight spiders in the ground or something? Oh, hi, Squid. You're back. I shrunk the kids game. Grounded. Grounded. That was what it was. Grounded game. Gotta play that at some point. Like, that's that's terrifying. I would struggle to play that game. Because I don't like the spiders. And there's a lot of spiders in that game. And they act like spiders. They lurk at, lurch at you. Yeah, no thanks. Good game. I know there is an arachnophobia mode that makes them just balls. I I put on the arachnophobia mode for uh, what's that game that came out recently? The the little the little dude game. You know what I'm talking about? The <laughs> <laughs> Lethal Company. Lethal Company has spiders in it, and there's an arachnophobia mode in that that just makes the spiders the word spider, like a glowing red word spider with fangs. I think that's really funny. That's good to know. Surely my, my fear of spiders is irrational and unfounded. I don't like it. I wish it wasn't that way, but... I look at something like this and my skin just crawls. I wish it I wish it weren't that way. Anyway, we got some people here. Uh do you guys want to do these brackets? I have two brackets that we can do. I have uh one that's home alone traps. So the way this bracket works, actually let's, let's we have we have a home alone one and we have a meme Pokemon one. And the meme Pokemon is really easy to explain. It's just Pokemon that are memed in some way or another and how funny the jokes are. So we everyone can argue their case. We can argue I have 64 seeds in this one, but it's not a seeded bracket. It's just randomly chosen. Uh, and then we have uh, Wild That the Fear is so prevalent, there are several games of a built-in mode without them. Yeah. That's true. And, you know, I'm happy for that because Skyrim really gives me trouble because the big spiders, they freak me out. <laughs> Honestly, the bigger a spider get, it's fine. But when they're about the size of dogs, like, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And here's the other bracket we're doing. Uh, I have set up, at least. It's uh, Home Alone Traps. So the scenario is you're in one of these restaurants. I have a bunch of chains. I have uh, Kroger, Popeye's, Waffle House, Hot Topic, that kind of thing. Um. I have all sorts of uh, biz chains, I guess is the right word, of chains across America. Uh, and we are they are competing head to get against one another of who can argue the best of how it would be to hold out to them in a home alone type scenario. And by a home alone type scenario, I mean there are two bandits coming after you. You cannot kill them. You cannot leave the place. You're trying to defend the place for as long as you can. Uh, and they have uh, cartoon violence, basically. So um, if you, like, throw a knife at them, they don't die. It just bounces off their head and they scream comedically. There's the rules to it. You can only inconvenience the ones, the, the band is coming after you with a trap. Like Home Alone. Um, so you can only set these traps and hide and they're, use only the tools available in the household or the building in this case. So we're, we're competing businesses based on Home Alone rules. I think it's going to be really interesting. I have some good arguments for different things. I think that one's going to be interesting. But we also have meme Pokemon, and that one's a lot more easy to explain. We can also just, like, do whatever. We also have uh, tier lists. Exactly, the hot cooking oil. It, can, it won't kill them because they have slapstick rules. It's happening in the store. They're invading the store. They're trying to uh, grab you, trying to nab you while you're in the store. And they have slapstick logic, so they can't die. If you, like, get, like, a searing hot pizza pie and, like, catapult it into their face with the trebuchet setup you've made, it will land in their face, and instead of scalding them, it might scald them, but they'll just go, Ooh! and they'll scream real funny. And 
and, and then they'll just keep coming after you. It's just how much you can... <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it is kind of like, uh, there is a SAG component to that, where corporate America security is like, shelter in place, protect the products. Yeah, basically. That, I wasn't trying to do any social commentary with that. I just wanted to... I think it'd be funny to set up Home Alone traps in in Popeyes because there's high co- cooking oil, for example, and like it's really lethal to rats, and these are like big rats. So if we just got a bunch of hot cooking oil, it would probably deter them for a little while. It's basically how many traps can you set up and successfully trigger in these areas? <laughs> Fun times maiming Doc the house, exactly. And this is a seated bracket. So I went off of what I thought would be the best place to do it. And if you have any arguments, we can go off that. Um, Let's start. Do we want to start with Pokemon? Or do we want to start with Home Alone Traps? Or we can just go to... We just go to tier list. Just tier list maker. We find different tier lists of stuff. I think that'd be fun. That's successful content, right? Tier lists. People like tier lists. Yeah, here. Do like a here. Well, I'm not gonna do crisps. Christ. Uh, we could do like uh, like Gen One Pokemon. Every Pokemon, <laughs> even though there's several games I haven't played. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this is. <laughs> could do that one. We would oh oh lord oh lord <laughs> let's just let this load for a second or put that in another tab or we could just do like an easy one like candy bars like that one Cartoon Network programming that one's fun that one actually might be a good one to do I have lots of thoughts on Cartoon Network shows. Except I don't know what Tutu the dog is. All right. Um, I'm going to wait two minutes for deciding. Otherwise, I'm just going to BS and do whatever. This is my stream, dang it. And if people jump in, then they jump in. Gender difference if you've chosen not to include. Can I not? Oh, that's way good. So I can just... Put this in, say, C tier, and then it just goes. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, Squid, what you what you thinking? Uh huh. I mean, this has been a Pokemon channel up to favorite seed creatures. Uh, I guess I don't. Know. Okay, we can do that. You can do a shrimp tier list. It is shrimp week. Actually, last week was shrimp week. Shrimp. Tier list. Let's do a freshwater shrimp tier list. Wait, no. Did I not? I can only rank this guy's. I can't have one. Okay, there we go. So I've been stymied by the fact that I don't know any of these shrimp. <laughs> I guess I can go off of how much of a goober they are. Uh, this one's S tier for sure. Look at him. Look at his pattern. This one's really pretty. I'll call it A tier. I like this one because he lives in White Rock. Um, this one's too translucent. We'll put him in C tier to see right through him. This is just his friend, but he's green. You miss it, Shrimply. I Shrimply miss it. Uh, good palette here. This guy is kind of like this guy, but worse. So we'll put him. We'll put him in B tier. Uh, this. That's genuine shrimp right there. That's what I, when I go to a restaurant, I'm like, I want shrimp. That's what I want right there. That's quintessential shrimp. Um, ew, brown, black shrimp. Ugh. This one's okay. Green shrimp? I don't know. Green's not a color I'm looking for my shrimp. That's a good shrimpy color. So is, so is orange. I like orange. I like the vibes on this one. Okay. So I know that this is very similar to this one, but I like this one's vibe a lot more. This one seems curious. He seems... Oh, hang on. All right, you know what? Just look at his little mustache. He's got a little stash. I like him. 
I might have put the Ghost Shrimp in C tier. C -tier. He's translucent. I don't like ghosts. Uh, you. I like this one. Very aesthetic. Uh, lion shrimp. Sure. Uh, that. Eh, I don't like the green shrimps. Or the brown shrimp. Blue is okay. I'll give that one B. I'm gonna give that one A. I like the yellow shrimp. This one's cool. This one's too long. This one just seems like this one, but better. So we'll do that. Uh, put that in C. There's my shrimp. Shrimp of a shark beak or nose called the rostrum that extends off their head to protect themselves from predators. So is that why this one's got a snooter? That's his rostrum snooter? See, is there anything I would change? I, I kind of like the black shrimp. It gives me vibes of like a black lightsaber. Like it's not, it looks a little off, but it does look cool. You know what? I'll give this one a C tier. Um, I like the bell curve on it. This is the bell curve I try to achieve on a tier list. In fact, I'm going to put the blue back in A because I like this to be a lot lower and I like this to be a lot lower. But I just don't think any of these guys, is, you know what? This guy, you can see beans inside of him. There's B and C. They joust? Shrimp jousting? But yeah, this one consumed beans, which is plant and animal matter. Okay, good job. Uh, let's do more sea creatures. I like that. Sea creature tier list. Okay. Oh, okay. This one's a lot more. I like the vibes on this one a lot more. Okay. We're going to go. Let's extend this. Let's just go full screen on this. I was thinking I was on Mac for a second. Okay. So let's start with Manta Ray. Yeah, this is all sea creatures. So if you have any problems with like sharks or snakes or anything, just be prepared. There's going to be some sea creatures. What would I do with 10 legs? I would run like, like two and a half horses. <laughs> I, I would move so fast. I do a lot of tap dancing. I would be the best tap dancer. I guess I do have a lot of legs. Well, I don't really have any legs. It depends on how you define it, because I, oh god, you could do the 20, you could do the 2002 skidoo instead of the 22 skidoo with this. <laughs> okay, manta rays. I like manta rays. These aren't manta rays. These are, are they manta rays? I like them generally. I like their little faces. They're pancakes of the sea. They glide. They sing. There's quality. B. Um, that is some sort of whale, but it's a boring whale. Whales are just, their whole thing is that they're big. Well, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Link Chu has a problem with whales. That's okay. That, well, look, he's gone. And you know what? We're going to put that one straight in F tier. Dorkfish. Now, Dorkfish, he's just here for a good time. I could see him, like, say you were just, like, hanging out at your house, and you're like, I don't know what we want to do tonight. What do you guys want to do? This guy seems like he'd be like, well, I got Catan, and that's really good, depending on how much you like Catan. So that's circumstantial, so we're going to put him in C. <sighs> but I like his grin, though. He's, a, he's he's in for a good time. He loves Catan. You know what? You're right. Sea snake. Cheating. Cheating. It's a snake that flies, but underwater. Cheating. E. Crab. Are there other crabs, or is this a catch-all crab? Because that does change the... Oh, spider web. That's right. Um, there's some quality individuals here. All right, so this looks like... I don't know what kind of crab this is. That's not a coconut crab. If coconut crab would be on here, that would be a different story. But we got spider crab, and we got Mr. Crab. I like crabs generally. I think there are, you know, there's a reason everyone 
is everyone is like moving towards crabs evolutionarily. Now I'm older than the universe. Oh, hi, Fat Batman. We're ranking sea creatures. <laughs> um, there is a squid. The squid's coming. Uh, the animal, not not the STD. I think there might be. We could do an STD tier. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to see the pictures associated with that. Um, you know what? I'm going to put crab in A. Crab is just a high-quality creature. Especially this crab, the most crab that you can get. High quality. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I should add a cheating tier. Uh, we'll call it... Uh, add row below. Okay, cool. And we'll give it a new fun little color. Cheating. It might be a Dungeness. Cheating. Yeah, snake's cheating. That's just... A, it doesn't have legs on land anyways. It's cheating to go in the water. Swordfish. A. Solid A. Easy A. Love swordfish. Look at this. In fact, mm, I could be tempted to put that in S. That might be an S-tier creature. I love swordfish. They're delicious. Okay, they have like the texture of steak and the flavor of, of like... Like a really solid fish. Um, they look cool. Look at his snooter. They fight. And they're not really dangerous to people. So there's not like a fear factor with swordfish. You know what? I'm putting swordfish. I, I love swordfish. Swordfish is great. Um, you know what? This is also cheating. because A whale is not a sea creature. Now a sturgeon. Is that a sturgeon? No, that's a shark. That's like one of those ground sharks. It's like a shark... That's a lot more chill than a shark. Generally, I think sharks are pretty cool. Things are turning into crabs, yeah. It's happening. We're evolutionarily, we're all turning into crabs. I love the swordfish. Swordfish is great. We're keeping swordfish. Uh I think dirt shark goes in D for dirt. <laughs> swordfish is a go-to for melee, mate. Exactly. Like, like, how many fish can you think of that have a weapon? A sword. I love the swordfish. High quality. Self-evidently great. They are catchable in Animal Crossing. And there's a really big one in Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Swordfish. King of the sea. Dirt, dirt shark. King of the dirt. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it looks like a whale, which is not a sea creature. Or not a fish. I guess none of the, this isn't a fish tier list. Alright, fine. Weird whales. Um... More whales. Is that a killer whale? That would be a killer whale. Killer whale, I think, is because that's almost a shark. Uh, jellyfish. String jellyfish. Jellyfish are cool. They are such a vibe. They float around. Uh, I mean, teeth don't count as weapons. Like, would you call this a weapon? No, that's just a schnoz. It's a schnoz swimmer. Uh, I think string jellyfish is really cool. You can see his brain. That's all I see. J the problem with jellyfish, jellyfish don't like do anything. They just kind of float and they vibe. Now, that's their greatest weakness and their greatest strength. Because I, I appreciate the vibe of just floating around and not really doing anything. Uh, yeah, don't, don't look hard at the whales. Don't Watch with caution. If I could control them not to be... In fact, can I remove options? No, I can't remove options. Otherwise, I would just straight remove the whales. But unfortunately, I cannot. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. If you talk quick, you might sound slick. But also, I think you just asked me to make you a real jellyfish sandwich, and you'll die! First one is a right whale, and the, the right whale's on the left, and the second is a mink whale. Who knows? Take some jelly. Take some fish. Make the sandwich delish. <laughs> ah! Seal paladin scared me. All right, I'm gonna put string jellyfish here. You can see his whole brain. Very good. I think C tier is a good place for jellyfish. Powerfully, they're not very good, but they are vibe. Uh, long jellyfish. Is that a box jellyfish? Box jellyfish get an extra point for being dead A. Uh, doofus. <laughs> doofus whale. Um, as far as whale goes, it's probably one of the better whales. Same whale. Dolphins? Dolphins suck. Holy crap. People, like, 
give way too much credit to dolphins. Dolphins are assholes. All of them. Just complete assholes. They're one of the only creatures in in nature that commit sexual violence against other creatures. Like, not of their same race, just other other species. Like, like, dolphins suck, and they bite, and they steal. <laughs> dolphins are awful. And you can't even peel them like a banana. You look like you could. You can't. You can't peel a dolphin. Sucks. Blobfish, A+. Plus. A plus guy. Look at this doof. Look at this little guy. <laughs> he only looks like that because he's on land, by the way. That is a fact. Blobfish and water look very different. Ew, let's look at it. Blobfish in water. Like, they get a bad name. Look at this. In his natural habitat, that's an actual fish. And it's it's just defending itself it doesn't want to bother anybody and then you take it out of the water and take a picture of it while it's in its worst state and that's not fair a plus a plus here for the blobfish so long and thanks for all the fish wait are you leaving goodbye Lincoln. have a good night uh octopus blue ring octopus very good octopus octopus are great octopi octopi are great blue ring is one of the better octopi because it's venomous too. Look, I I'm just spitting facts here. All right, the left wing media doesn't want to know all your. Oh, I understand. I understand, like um, uh, your your uh, your your love for for dolphins. But, like, left-wing media is all like, yeah, pro-dolphin. Ah, no, I'm here to speak the real truth. No, dolphins suck. Unequivocally, wholeheartedly, dolphins suck. Sharks, on the other hand? Is that blue-ring dolphin? I want to put the blue-ring dolphin in A. Or blue-ring blue octopi in A. The most deadly octopus. In fact, ooh, I might put... Oh, that's a real good sea creature. It can camouflage. It can get in anything. It's so good. So good. Such a good creature. Evolutionarily, we, they could replace us. They could replace us as top species. They could. Um, jellyfish. Uh, C tier. I think C tier is a general good place for jellyfish. I love bioluminescent jellyfish. In fact, ooh, let's swap these two. Bioluminescent jellyfish are so cool. I love bioluminescent. It's such a cool little thing. Uh, shark. Sharks are great. That's a great white. That's a great white shark. Perfect. Love shark. Sharks are cool. Self-evidently so. I don't need to defend sharks. Sharks defend themselves. Sturgeon? Is that a sturgeon? Or is that a catfish? What is that? Is that a cool catfish? I'm sure Link Chu could tell me what this is. I'll move the, the, the whales off screen so you can look at this. What is this? Artify might be alien. If it's a sturgeon, I'll move it up a teal. Actually, if it's a sturgeon or a catfish, I'll put it in A. I love sturgeon and catfish. They're very cool. I think that's a sturgeon. Not a lot of fish in this tier list, I'm noticing. But catfish aren't sea creatures or river creatures. Lake creatures. Um, It does not tell me the critter name. Fortunately, it's only pictures. That's true. They did do that. Oh, I understand. I, I okay. I understand. I'm just gonna call that a sturgeon and put an A tier. Sturgeon are great. Um, I don't know what this is, but I'd say E tier is there for it. All right. Um, they are good. You know what? The people can't. The people want S tier sturgeon slash catfish. We'll call it that. Cuttlefish. Is that a cuttlefish? No, it's just a squid. This is a squid. That's A tier automatically. Automatic A tier. Possibly even S tier. Squid great. Do love squids. He's a little stubby. He's a little stubby for general squids. I prefer. Do they have giant squid? They do. Ooh, giant squid. A S tier. S tier. Leviathan squid. 
the thing of legend. Love it. I, th- I think I, I think sturgeon belongs in S tier. You're right. You're right. That's the blue bioluminescent jellyfish. We're gonna put that straight in A tier. Bioluminescent jellyfish, really good. Um, long fish. <laughs> um, sorry, that's a. It, he's big, and there's something to be said about creatures that make me question my own humanity. Uh, but I don't know what it is. It's not popular enough. We'll put it in. Um, this guy needs to take some Flonase. D tier. Basking shark. Just, honestly, these are kind of terrifying. Like, I don't really have a phobia of whales or anything like that. Orfish? Is that what this is? An orfish? (laughs) When all squids aspire to be giant squid. This is not an Animal Crossing value uh, tier list. Goblin shark. Um, basking sharks are really, they're kind of creepy. Whenever I hear, like, whenever I see videos of, like, the bloop, there's always a basking shark associated with it because they're just, like, this kind of void that just filters shit. I love that. Um, There's an omen. Wait, hang on. Let me look at oarfish. Oarfish. Oh my god, he's so big. What is the orfish omen? We're going to learn today. Why are orfish all doomsday fish? The mayor's order to see if you're seeing as harbinger of bad news, secular disasters, and destruction. The legend is that if you see an orfish, it is a warning sign of higher powers that disasters such as earthquakes seem to occur. Oh, this is a wishkosh. Oh. 36 feet long. Whoa, okay, all right. All right, we'll, we'll put that in A tier. That is really cool. It's got legends associated with it. It's super long. Up and down. Okay, all right. That is an A tier fish. I stand corrected. Basking shark, C tier. Hammerhead shark, the best of the sharks. The most effective? No. The funniest? The Yes, hammerhead shark in S tier. Love hammerheads. Or look at their doofy heads. They can't. There's so many blind spots in their vision. They can't bite people because they're too dumb. Um, what? What in the hell is that? I think it's a cuttlefish. Oh, I don't like its little arms. This is easy. Octopus. Great creature. Not as good as a blue ring because this list does make a distinction between the blue ring and the regular octopus. But we'll put the regular octopus in A. A tier is getting real crowded. Um. <gasps> oh, it's it's this guy. The I'll let you pet Mr. Whiskers. That, oh, I love that guy. Put him in B. Because mm, it's like a frog fish, right? That's what they're called. Frogfish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, it's a Dumbo octopus. That is specifically a Dumbo octopus. Well, yeah, I don't feel comfortable putting two octopi in S tier. One of them has to be the best octopi. Is it better than a blue ring? I don't think so. Look like how cool blue ring is. It, it glows blue. It's like an Umbreon. I love frogfish. Uh, solid, solid. A, a tier is getting crowded, but that is a solid A tier. <laughs> sea slug bunnies? What? <gasps> oh, I don't think they are, but I wish they were. Look at this. Also, I love seeing these. These are great. Baby. <laughs> this is a rabbit that looks like a sea slug. This is a sea slug that looks like a rabbit. Oh, I love that. Are they on here? I don't think so. No, I don't think they are. What the hell is that? Is that just slightly less giant squid? 
All right, well, give it a slightly less good score. Put it in B. Um, this is like the swarm of fish, right? This is like wishy-washy. This is, uh, they're not krill. They're like mackerel or something. Eh, pretty basic fish. Let's see. Moray eel. Gotta love the moray. Gotta love the moray. Really great. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a moray. B tier. Dory? Okay. I'm willing to bet. Let's, like, let's. There is the association with Finding Nemo because this is this looks like Dory, a blue centimeter. There's a giant squid and colossal squid. Okay, so this is the colossal squid. When I, when I say giant squid, colossal squid is what I'm thinking of. This is not what I'm thinking of. This is barely bigger than a person. That's still pretty cool. So it's not lower than B tier, but I'm gonna put it in B tier because we have regular squid, colossal squid, and this guy who can't decide which one he wants to be. Um, this one's fine. Uh, that one's secure. Uh, Dory, Dory, whatever it is. Uh, what is Dory called? Blue, st is it a blue sturgeon? What do you think is Dory? Blue tang. So if we remove the association with the Disney movie. This is still just a pretty fish. It's a very pretty fish. I love the vibrant blue. I don't know how well it matches up against other fish. I'll put it in B. Puffer fish. Oh, I love puffer fish. I want to squeeze them hello. A tier. Love puffer fish. Look at them go. You just you grab them and you... Like, I do that, too. I, it's a fish after my own heart. Like, someone pokes me, and I'm like, <laughs> why would you guys do that? <laughs> like, if I knew a pufferfish per personally, I would, like, constantly be trying to puffer him up. Love pufferfish. Um, he's obnoxious. D e tier. E horse. Eh, D tier. Males give birth. I, everyone knows that trivia. But I don't know. It's a pretty standard horse. They aren't even real horses. Shrimp. We already discussed this. Oh, shrimp. Actually, I love shrimp. You can have a whole week of shrimp. Big fish. I don't know what that is, but he's big. D tier. Uh, long fish. I don't know what it is, but he's long. D tier. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Most of the, like, I don't think a jellyfish can be lower than C tier. I'm going to put this in C tier. Um, don't know what that is. I think it's made of ribbon. It's kind of neat. It's like an eel. No idea what that is. I don't know. The, oh, can I? Let's just get like um. Long with wormy boy. Oh, these are like parasites, aren't they? Wait, no, 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 no. That's a lungfish, isn't it? That's a lungfish. Maybe. Lungfish are pretty cool. They have lungs. That's cool. I feel like you're specking out of being a fish at that point, so we'll put that in C tier. It just having a strong uh, fish attribute. Oh, that's a wild jellyfish. It looks like it's living coral. I'm going to put that one in B. That's a good jellyfish. That's a high-quality jellyfish right there. Lobster. Uh, there's a blue lobster, too. Lobster are great. They're not as good as crabs. They're just kind of like weaker crabs, and they eat like stuff, but I, I still like lobster. Don't get me wrong. Do love me some lobster. Um. Oh! Well, it's like a it's a vampire squid, right? That's what that is. Vampire squid. Yeah, I knew that one. These are wild looking, and they, there's a creature in D and D. This one of these guys that hang from the ceiling. Love vampire squid. Oh, we're gonna put that high up, high up. Vampire squid. We're gonna put that on the same level as regular squid. A standard squid. I. That squid or crab? I think it's squid. It's an unrecognizable squid, but we'll put that in B. B 
You got uh, spider crab. All right. Spider crabs upset me. Okay, I we've talked about how I don't like spiders already. But like these these don't scare me the same reason spiders do. Like look at that. That shouldn't be alive. That's a crab as big as a man. That's like that is my whole breadth is a spider crab. And they're always looking at you like that with their their arms prepped. Now, there is a really good meme. Now, spider crabs are very good at removing brands. Whenever a brand gets cheeky on social media, it's really... Spider crabs are always on top of that shit. Do love that. So, I gotta give the spider crabs some credit. But it upsets me, so I'm gonna put it in A tier instead of S tier. Blue crab. I mean, it's a crab. High quality crab right there. I think only one crab can be in the top. Let's move. Let's move up. Maiden crab or Dungeness crab? And ooh, actually, no. I like this crab more. Feel me? I like the blue crab. Uh, shark. Uh, general shark. Is that a bull shark? Bull sharks are about on the same level as great whites, in my opinion. Because bull sharks can be in freshwater and they can move up estuaries, but they don't usually like to stay there. So yeah, I like the bull shark. <laughs> what are you, buddy? <laughs> He's a little dirt guy. I like him. Put him, put him in C. I don't. I like him. He's great. I don't know what I'm looking at. A uh, lionfish. Lionfish. They s- stab. The Monterey. I need to go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium at some point. It's really good. Uh, lionfish have uh, really poisonous barbs on them, and I don't think they use them to hunt. I think they just use them for defense, which means they are a vibe. They float around. They should be on the same level as jellyfish. So we'll put that in D. Oh, I love the sunfish. <laughs> Guys, way up for me. I can't keep up as good as you. Ah, oh, sunfish are great. I put a sunfish to scale. <laughs> look, look, look how big they are. They're unreasonably big, and they look like they're constantly waiting for you to. Like they're trying to catch up. Like, guys, oh, hang on, I'm not as fast as you. <laughs> okay, goodbye, squid. See you soon. Sunfish are big. Love sunfish. Easy B tier. Mm, you know what? A tier is really crowded. I'm gonna put sunfish in A tier. Oh ah, um, that's upsetting. E tier. Um, squid. Squid. Octopus. I don't know. I don't know what. It's hard to tell what, what species that is with that picture. But it's almost as big as a person. So I'll put it in A. Uh, spine jellyfish. Look at that long jellyfish. Oh, I love him. Look how long he... I think he goes with, like, a string jellyfish. It's about on the same level, but he's pretty good. Uh, flying fish. Portmanteau. They... Flying fish don't actually fly. They jump out of the water for a little bit, and it makes them weaker against predator birds. Very bad. A lot of evolutionary points to spec into that skill, and they don't do anything with it. Flying fish, E. E tier, easily. Angler fish. Look how spooky he is. <laughs> Gonna put that guy in. That's B tier easily. I don't know what kind of shark that is, but I don't think a shark should ever be lower than B tier. Clownfish. Unlike the blue curacao, I don't think that the clownfish is as good. Uh, just aesthetically by itself, if you remove it from Finding Nemo, it's so fine. But, I mean, it's a clown. Ha, 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 ha. No, no. What's a she? What, this thing? I don't think this thing has a gender. The clownfish? I mean, maybe? Or the flying fish? Maybe? Um. Yeah. Really big jellyfish. Wow, 
lion's mane jellyfish. Oh, I didn't know the anglerfish that look like that are female. I didn't know that. I wish this didn't exist. Oh my god, can you imagine being on the <laughs> on the beach? You just see a big pile of slime. It's like seeing a medieval creature. Oh my god. The sea is terrifying. I, 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 <laughs> put that in oh no, I'm gonna put that in B. That's a high quality jellyfish. Uh goldfish. Overrated. F tier. Killer whales. I would put that as a high-ranking whale, which makes it easier. Cod. That's not, wait, is that a cod? That's a cod. Cod. Koi. It's a koi. Koi. Koi's are, hey, baby prime, we're looking at fish. Koi is pretty cool. They're very aesthetic fish. I like them. Uh, I do think they're a little overrated, but not to the same level as jellyfish. I'll put a koi in C, in C tier. They're fairly useless they don't do much but they are a vibe much like many of the jellyfish and like this is the vibe tier honestly <laughs> can we can we just rename this to the vibe tier there we go all right vibe tier a uh, long jellyfish or are you a fish what kind of fish are you i'm sure you're on here is this you i hope not i hope you're this the sturgeon uh, don't know what that is. It's a pretty lame fish, to be honest. E. Uh, that's a little skitter scabbler. We'll put a skitter scabbler in D. That's a leech of some sort. No, it's not. It's like one of those little suckery things. Um, oh, they 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 eat. So they have a cool little symbiotic relationship with a lot of things. They eat the 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 little the little. Things off that they're like leeches. I don't know. The first thing in A tier, the blobfish. Well, good. You're a misunderstood creature. Look, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> he, he looks like you just asked him to a math problem. He's like, I don't know. How to, uh, I don't know my times tables. <laughs> He's great. He is a vibe. That's a vibe fish right there. These guys suck. Oh my god, I hate the little manta rays that dig in the sand. You can step on them, they stick in your leg. I was afraid of those as a kid. I watched a little documentary about how many people these things stick in a year. I'm like, if I step on one of these on the beach, I'm going to die. I'm going to lose my leg. And I hated that. So, E tier. E tier. This is not, what did I just grab? Where were you? E tier. Uh, chainsaw fish! Oh, <laughs> the chainsaw fish. Very impractical. They... They, they, they're not as intimidating as they look. They basically just, they just move their head around to, to get fish to, like, chop things up. I'm thinking of remorse. That's a leech, and it drills holes in the fish. So that is a leech. Okay, good. Then even further, E tier. Hate leeches. Um, yeah, I'm putting that in A. I love the chainsaw. Honestly, chainsaw fish might be an S. No, if it were more practical, it would be an a, S tier, but nah. Um, sperm whale. Whale shark. Pick a lane, dude. E. I can't I cannot call that a high quality shark. You know what? We can put it in D. But like pick a lane. Now, no shark should be lower than B tier. I don't know what kind of shark that is, but I'll put it in B. And then there's Oh, that's the shark that that like flips his tail and like stuns fish. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's gotta be an it's almost honestly, for the fact that it's a shark. And it like it uses its tail like that is a the killer combo S tier, S tier. All right, that's our sea creature tier list. I enjoyed that. That was good. That was a lot of fun. Enjoyed that shrimp sea creatures. Now let's get away from here because I know some people here do not like whales. So we'll get away. That was good. Actually, let's bring those tabs back. Or um, or not. Can I bring those tabs back? 
I don't want to look in my history on stream. Uh, okay. What next? Uh, Baby Prime. We have a couple of options available to us that I'll let you choose since you're you're here now. Um, we have Home Alone Traps. We have Meme Pokemon Bracket. And also the Home Alone Traps is a bracket. We have uh, Cartoon Network Shows. Uh, that I think would I have a lot of things to say about them, and then uh, every Pokemon, <laughs> which we could be here for an hour. Although I'd probably go pretty rapid fire on these, honestly, because there's a lot I don't know. I, like I would put, I I would make this an, the unknown tier basically because I don't know. What do you think, Baby Prime? Koi sea creatures? I think they are salt water. Oh, maybe not. Let's hit off that mean Pokemon bracket. All right, cool. So the point of this bracket is it started, right? Yeah, it started. The point of this bracket is we are going off of how funny the meme is. Um, can I not scroll? The other way? Oh, okay, that's the other way. Uh, collapse. Yeah, there we go. So we're going off of how funny the meme is. So each one of these Pokemon has a meme associated with it. Either they're just like hilariously weak, or for a long time they just didn't have things that they needed and they were just a go-to like a punching bag, or they have a popular meme associated with them, or some of them are just Coomer Pokemon. So that's how we're going to go off of them. Uh, this is not a seeded bracket. I just put in a bunch of things and randomize them. So let's see how it goes. First off is Shuckle versus Wobbuffet. Mm, okay. I do like the don't fuckle with Shuckle meme. I like that Shuckle is capable of dealing the most damage of any Pokemon. At least I think that's still true. That might not be true anymore. because That was a couple generations when I learned that fact. But like... I think Wobbuffet has fallen off as a funny Pokemon in the past couple years, but we have forgotten how funny of a concept Wobbuffet is. The fact that he comes out of a Pokeball, like, does a Roman salute, not a Roman salute, just a regular salute. A Roman salute's an a, a Italian Nazi thing. <laughs> very different. Very different. Um, he does a salute, and he goes, wah, bah, bah, and, like, he has a great face. I adore how female Wobbuffet? They're like, we gotta give a gender difference to female Wobbuffet. I know. Let's just put fucking lipstick on it. <laughs> I think that's so funny. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's collapse a little bit. Can we just... Two Wobbuffet forms. No, no, no! I want, I want female <laughs> before rocket weight loss. After rocket weight loss, uh, that's funny. No, I want female Wobbuffet. There we go. Look at it. Oh, honey, did you get the trash today? <laughs> I'm leaning towards Wobbuffet, but it seems that Bayou Prime is voting for Shuckle. I'll give you time to defend your case on Chuckle. Uh, sure, I mean, I think it was uh, Doobie Dude or whatever his name. Don't fuckle with Chuckle. Like he's the one who made this thing. Like it is funny how he just sits there and he got kind of a <laughs> kind of a duh face. I do like Chuckle. I don't want to make it seem like I I don't like Chuckle, but his whole uh. His whole thing is supposed to be that he's, like, super defensive and super tanky. But he's super not. He doesn't really do it because he doesn't have enough HP to back up being a tank. He doesn't really do anything, which is funny. This is not a don't fuck all with shucks. I do think it's really funny that he has the most damage. Mm. But I don't think I like it more than Lava Fett. <laughs> okay, I do like Chuckle wearing a seat belt. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Great one. 
great picture right there. Really good. Mm, you know what? All right, all right, let's. Wow, about that. Mm. Waba Fett is definitely more of a... Uh, I don't like that. Waba Fett. Oh, she's not even... Oh, she's just mounting for dominance. Mm. Oh, that's right. Waba Fett's other thing is that he was originally based off of, like, a celebrity. That's the way it is, ma'am. Like, he's like... He is a reference. And now that I remember that fact... Don't think I like him as much. <laughs> Wagashuck. Okay, you might have sold me on Wagashuck. All right, we'll call Shuckle the winner. Submit scores. Shuckle. All right. There's Low Punny versus a Lowland Executor. I'm going to start with a Lowland Executor. There's a specific thing about a Lowland Executor. A Lowland Executor is designed really funny, it is deceptively funny. He's always going off screen like Doug Dematone's hat, which I think is really funny. Um, the Lone Executor in Smash. Is really great. Like, they're like, all right, so we got this Pokemon, right? He's really tall. We're just going to put him in the middle of the stage and he's just going to be a wall. And I think that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, they have a Lolan Executor in Super Smash Flash now? I haven't played Super Smash Flash in a minute. Does it still work? Can you still play Super Smash Flash without Flash? Is it still called that? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is a rabbit hole we need to go down. Uh, it's gone in a flash. Does that mean it's not there anymore? Does it have its own... Like, can you play it now? Because it can't be in Flash Player. Oh. Well, I guess I could just download Super Smash Flash. That would be a better thing than just playing it in a browser. Okay, anyways, sorry, distracted. I think it's really fun. I think it's a really good gag. And I love, people do not appreciate the butt coconut. <laughs> I've talked about this in Ultra Sun. People don't appreciate a lonely executor's butt coconut. <laughs> a lonely executor butt coconut. He's got a little koi face, and he's, he's, I would hate to be the butt coconut. Oh, why did it have to be horrifying? No. I love shiny alone executor. I think, I think he is comedy gold. There was a little bit of inherent comedy in executor because of how doofy he is, and he's got three different faces that are different levels of doofy, like, but he's like dumpy a little bit, but this, this is Fantastic. I love how long he is. He's fantastic. But there is no, no getting past the comedy gold in what's about to happen. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm here for that. The most the grass type shinies are just fall because I love fall aesthetics. And that's oh, why did it have to be this way? I was really hoping I was gonna Google low punny and it was gonna be like, are you sure you want safe shirt on? Oh, let's see here. Uh, actually, you know what? I need to make sure I have that on and not. <laughs> not accidentally have yeah this is probably for the best <laughs> anyways little buddy's really funny and how it's it is the kumarmon like i got a little i got a pokemon here batman like, 
What Pokemon do you have, Joker? I got a little pony. Joker, no! I don't personally find it very funny. I just think the internet is so predictable, and they're like, oh, it's it's funny, because it's it's vaguely human-shaped, and honestly, like, what were they thinking with Little Pony? Like, it is straight up a Playboy bunny, and then they put it in ripped leggings? <laughs> they gotta know what they're doing. They They gotta know what they're doing. <laughs> You know what? On the bracket lord here, I'm putting a lowly executor. No one's fighting for low punny. I'm putting a lowly executor. And he is Fickle 2 and Skitty. Skitty's got one meme. Skitty has one meme. We all know what it is. Skitty. Meme. It's this. This is the meme. This is the Skitty meme. Haha, <laughs> it's in the same egg group as Waylord. How can these two things... How how baby happened between Waylord and Skitty? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. But this isn't a cute bracket. <laughs> I love, I love the cat banana pick. <laughs> uh, there's Skitty with a gun. <laughs> So that's the one joke. I think Pickle Chew has a lot more under his belt. There's surprised Pickle Chew. There's a lot of comedy go. I know Pikachu is a little played out at this point. Don't summon them more in the love of God. We don't need that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Otaku Nader. <laughs> I'm just discussing. Well, look, it's a it's a bracket. So there's Skitty and there's Pickle Chew. I think Pickle Chew has a lot more comedic value beyond like this image alone is funnier than the Skitty Waylord Waylord joke in my opinion. And I think Waylord is on here later because I kind of ran out of of Pokemon. There's a couple of these that are like they got one joke, and that's their thing. And they're they're meant to be low bracket fodder. I think I'm just gonna put Pickle Chew ahead. And, I think it'll be good. All right. Wooper versus Delibird. Delibird's whole thing is he's super weak. Um, thank you. Thank you for agreeing with the alone egg pick. Uh, Delibird's whole thing is he's super weak. And that's funny that they just made an awful Pokemon. But that more says a lot about Gen 2 design. Wooper, on the other hand. Look, at, hang on. <laughs> Wooper's a little guy. <laughs> we all love Wooper. <laughs> Look at, he doesn't have arms. He's so happy to not have arms. Can I interest you all in the video, please? Hang on, can we, can we, uh, what is it called? Um, is it Acquire the Squire? Acquire the Sire? Can I interest you all in a, in a video Good right morning, now? morning, Homer. It's morning. Uh, you, Welcome back to spring. What is not to love about that? What is not to love about that? Wooper's great, and he just keeps getting better. Oh, I got a little, oh, thank, hey, you're talking to Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Wooper is just, like, equivocally great, self-evidently great. I don't need to explain why Wooper is great. I think Wooper needs to go on here more than Deli Bird. I like Deli Bird a lot. I like his joke, and I like it. Getty! I think he's great. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there's Puka Mooka Voodoo in Trubbish. Trubbish is the face of, like, Pokemon design that is misunderstood. One Pokemon that can learn Ice Punch without arms. He wills an Ice Punch. Into yes, Wooper's great. Our unsung son. Uh, there's Pukamook Badoo, who's great. He doesn't really have any humor beyond his name, but I don't think I've ever heard anyone say Pukamooku's name right. <laughs> I love when I'm watching a video about like Smash or something because Puka Mukubudu is in is in Smash Brothers, and I see, like, oh yeah, this Pokemon is put pretty that one the the sea urchin, he's great. I love Puka Mukubudu as a comedic concept. Trubbish, his whole thing like he's a meme. He was he's the one in in Gen Five that one's like they put literal trash in, which I think the joke is kind of played as course. It's kind of funny, and Trubbish is like self-evidently kind of funny. I mean, if you just look at Trubbish, 
You think Travis is the better meme? Say more words. Why do you think Travis is the better meme? Because I do. I mean, <laughs> how can you look at this face and not like it? Just look at him. <laughs> There's no noises he makes. Those are, those are his noises. I just. Complete Trubbish. Pokemon not even worth your time. Whatever, dude. Like, Trubbish is. Look at him. Look at him. He ate too much trash. <laughs> Uh, Trubbish can burn. That is very hazardous for the environment. Don't actually burn Trubbish. I love Trubbish. I do like Puka Muka Badoo. This is a hard one. Because I also am a big fan of Puka Muka. And Pokemon, like, they don't really play into Trubbish. <laughs> That's a great image. Uh, they don't really play into Trubbish being, like, funny they play into puka muku being funny they like throw puka muku there's like the little mini game in alolan where you just like throw them into the sea you just eat them back into the water they they give them a the little hand and they they're like they're like all over the place in alola like they know puka muku is great mm. this one's tough i want to see what chat has to say about puka muku versus trubbish see i mm. i would like to court to turn their attention toward look at him i rest my case you gotta you got a good point i i mean i also like i i debated putting um vanillax in here i think the yeet pokemon uh, uh, it's hard to say you got one vote for pukamukubudu and one for trubbish i like them both it's hard to decide mm thing is i don't see trubbish going very far i think he might win this one conflict but i don't see trubbish beating say quagsire or gulpin honestly i don't see either one of these guys being quagsire but i think pukamukabadu would stand more of a chance than trubbish but i do respect trubbish i think he gets way too much hate and so does vanillite for that matter they're the, they're the poster child for Gen 5. Like, Gen 5 is when they stop trying. Like, I don't, I don't know. How is this any worse than a, it's just a bird with two heads? You think Puka Muka would do? <laughs> I thought about Travis for too long. Now I don't like him. He is stinky. All right, Puka Muka would do. Let's do Puka Muka would do. Quagsire versus Gulpin. Gulpin has one joke. And his joke is Gulpin these nuts. Um... We're not even going to debate this, Quagsire. Quagsire. You know what? When I say Quagsire, I'm also going to include Clodsire. I think so. So next, when he comes back around, let's also talk about Clodsire. Mr. Mime versus Jigglepoof. So Jigglepoof has an in-universe joke. Jigglepoof. <laughs> I'm so glad that actually worked. <laughs> Jiggly, Jigglepoof has to, like an in-universe joke where it sings and puts people to sleep and it's mad that it puts people to sleep. <laughs> but that, that <laughs> pickle chew, that, that Jigglepoof is cheeked up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Let's get that off the screen. It's going to get me demonetized. <laughs> so it has an in-universe joke. I also think, since we're considering other media with this, like we're considering the anime, I think the fact that Jigglepoof's final smash in Smash Brothers is just to get big. <laughs> I think that's funny. Well, it looks like Gulpin is getting a lot of support. Maybe, can I undo that? Hang on, I think I can undo it. People seem to have arguments for Gulpin. The sludge bus. Gulpin is just Kirby's cousin. I, unironically, I do like Swalot a lot. I know that's weird, but it is one of my favorite Pokemon. I do really love Swalot. Um, everyone, like, learned to love it because Team Four Star did a Nuzlocke where Swalot was one of their team members. They had My Ex. They named it My Ex. Was, uh, uh, yeah, good joke. Um, but, like, Swalot is, like, legitimately it's underrated as far as Gen 3 Pokemon go. Because I love its face, I love its whiskers, and I there's one in uh, XD that is fantastic. I love the Swallow in XD because it's I don't know it like it was it's always a Pokemon to pick up and it it's always tanky. It's great. I do love Gulpin a lot. I 
I mean, Gulpin is also great. Let's see if we can include Swala in this. Gulpin. So, Gulpin. I just, <laughs> you know, now that I'm looking at this particular image of Gulpin, I do like that. Really? I didn't know Swala and Gulpin had this much support. But better than Quagsire? You know what? We already got the, the whooper representation. Let's just have a gulpin. Good, good. You know what? You guys, you, the crowd has spoken. And gulpin wins over Quagsire. That's, I'm, wow, okay. I thought I would, I was the only one who liked gulpin. But all right, cool. I like that. Oh, hi, Squid. We're doing the Pokemon bracket now. Squid, what's better? Mr. Mime or Jigglepoof? I do like Mr. Mime. I love Jigglepoof's Final Smash and Smash Brothers. I love how it, it's it's just get big, become Bigglepoof. Really? I but I like I like Quagsire. Look, hang on. Let me present to the world. If you haven't seen this video, Fish. look how great land, this is. So worthwhile. Aquatic predators. On, the the is mud <laughs> is the perfect place for clodsires to raise their young. <laughs> Hang on, this is the best part of this video. Hold on. Never if you haven't seen this video, like those vlogs. I highly suggest watching this. Great. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but that is Clodsire and not Quagsire. Which is a different Pokemon. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Alright, moving on from Gulpin Quagsire. Gulpin wins. Uh, Mr. Mime Jigglepoof. Jigglepoof has an in-universe joke. Which I think is okay. It's overused. But she sings. And everyone falls asleep. And she gets mad that everyone falls asleep. Because that's the quality of her song. And she draws on them. Ha <laughs> ha. And then she has a little, little thing. Uh, jiggle, jiggle poof. That's good. <laughs> if I were an animator on Pokemon. I would just have one frame. Just like one little sketch. Christ, that is, I I don't want to be thinking these things about Jiggle Poof. Um, I would slip in just like one little frame of someone of Jiggle Poof like drawing a wiener on somebody. I think that'd be really funny. Um, Jiggle Poof is good. Don't leave Mister Mime alone. <laughs> Mister Mime does have an advantage with this particular chat because the Mister Mime and Let's Go Eevee. I named dad question mark. I do think that joke is really funny. That Mr. Mime is Ash's canonical dad. And also, they just, they, they didn't, like, it was the Wild West back in the 90s. They were making Pokemon that were just dudes. Like, the fact that Mr. Mime is just a dude is really funny to me. Mr. Mime jokes. Christ. That's <laughs> also, this was a great scene. In the Pokemon movie, this was fantastic. I love that. I know some people, some people were disturbed by his face, but I 100% loved it. I do like Mr. I think I would lean towards Mr. Mime in this particular conflict more than Jigglepoof. That's not to undersell Jigglepoof. I do like Jigglepoof a lot, especially in Smash Bros. I like Jigglepoof more in Smash Bros. than Pokemon, but Mr. Mime is just universally funny. <laughs> Oh god, his hands are so weird. <laughs> I love in uh Legends Arceus. <laughs> this is great. I love how in Legends Arceus, like oh god, there is like one Mr. Mime that's like making a wall against the wall, like outside the door. I think that's really funny. You know what? Screw it. We're going Mr. Mime. Any objections, speak now or forever speak your peace. Dunsparce versus Slugma. Uh, Slugma has one joke. It's Slugma nuts. It's it's another one. It's just like Gulpin. But Gulpin ended up winning that. I do like Slugma. I think he looks doofy. <laughs> Slugma <laughs> makes me laugh. That is true. Mime Jr. If this were the baby forms, Mime Jr. would win over Iggly Buff every time. Um, What was I just about to... You distracted me, baby Buff. Slugma. I do like Slugma a lot. 
<laughs> just, just, just look at him. I'm a baby boy. <laughs> he can't do math. He looks at a calendar and sits there and, th- and, sits there and thinks about it for a minute because he doesn't know what else to do. There's a really cute slugma in um that one short where it's like powering their house. Dunsparce is great, and we can include the Dunsparce into it. We'll get to Dunsparce in a second. Um, I really like Slugma a lot. There's one po- Slugma Pokemon card that's very memorable for me that I had as a little baby Bigby. I wonder if it'll show up. Ah, this one. <laughs> I had this one. It's not a very powerful card, but look, why is he staring into my soul? Also, I think the idea that Slugma is hotter than the goddamn sun is really funny. Going over the the moon. But people seem to have a lot of stuff about Dunsparce. Hiker Anthony in Gen 2 calls you, tells you there's a bunch of Slugma. (laughs) Tells you there's a bunch of Dunsparce in a boring cave. (laughs) I mean, Dunsparce is funny because it's it's how pathetic is this Pokemon, right? And I love how they're like, all right, fine. We asked for years, for literal decades, like, Dunsparce needs an evolution. They're like, all right, fine, we'll give you an evolution. It's just the Dunsparce, it's the same thing, but longer. <laughs> I think that's really funny. And now there's some that are like, no, no, there's an elusive, like, subspecies of Dunsparce, uh, the Dunsparce, that's three Dunsparces long. <laughs> that's just two. They, like, took a middle segment. Oh, my God. <laughs> if this were the Dunsparce... Uh, this would win every time. This is truly disturbing. Dunsparce is great. I do like Dunsparce. I'm not trying to underspell, underspell, undersell Dunsparce. I, and you know, Dunsparce, sometimes Dunsparce can like be an unexpected hero. He's just close enough to being usable. that Sometimes Dunsparce is a hero. I, I, Bunstars got me out of a couple jams in my, oh, look at this guy though. Gonna choose some more Dunsparce for your Dunsparce. <laughs> He's got a funny name. Mm, I'm split on this one. I do love Dun <laughs> Big Dunsparce. Cause like he like floats slightly. His little wings don't do anything. He's got a drill on the back of him. What does Dunsparce even do? Oh God! Get that off the screen. Get it out of here. There's the Dongo Dunsparce. The- <laughs> The Dungo? Oh! Is the Dunsparce a reference to the Dongo? Oh, maybe there's not. Anything. There's like a... There's not really a visual similarity. Just, it's just you on you all. Hang on, uh, what is that? Let you in here with the trivia again. That this is this is a woman. Hang on, I spelled it wrong. Hang on, to to Sue. T O N O. What are you talking about? Or is is Slugma? Oh, yeah, I like that. Is Slugma based on Zucchino? He oh no. I swear that's what I said. Yokai Zucchino. The Naga? The bullet. Mm. Tsukiono? Yokai Dunsparce. (laughs) 
Oh, is that it? Is this it? The little snake guy? Yasuchiki on the... Oh, it's a cryptid. Oh, we should do a cryptid tier list when we're done with this. That'd be fun. I don't know most of them, but... Sugiona. There we go. Oh, fat snake. <laughs> My favorite yokai. Bullet. <laughs> Whoa, is it just a fat snake? Look, okay. Okay, this guy wins me over. This guy's winning me over Slugma. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love this guy. All right, you know what? Dunsparce wins. After seeing that, Dunsparce wins. Okay. Vaporeon versus Gumshoes. Gumshoes has one joke. It's that he's based off of Donald Trump. Ha ha, funny. Donald Trump gumshoes. <laughs> oh, someone made an anamorph of it. Where'd where it go? There we go. <laughs> I like that morph tool. Really good. Short, fat, talking snake. How dare you call me that? <laughs> Oh, I'm having fun. This is great. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, please no. So that's, that's Gumshoe's thing. And then there's Vaporeon. And I think that's what Otakinator here is uh, knowing about. <laughs> Hang on. Can we talk critically about the Vaporeon? Okay. All right. Let's get off that. Never mind. Um, hopefully YouTube didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> what the hell, Safe Search? You didn't save me. Young Goose, you can really grab by the tail and like like do a puny god on him, like slink him over your arm over and over. It's like a living slinky. <laughs> I make that joke in my ultrasound video. It's coming up. Yeah, okay. So Vaporeon, there is some comedic value to it. Can we talk about that joke objectively? Because Low punny, something like low punny is less of a joke because low punny is like, oh my god, they actually made just like a, like a sexy human Pokemon. That's weird. Vaporeon is not built to be furry bait. Vaporeon is a fish dog. The fact that somebody <laughs> like finagled a reason for Vaporeon to be a sex thing is so goddamn funny to me. <laughs> There's gum in my shoes. I so a gum shoes is not a very good joke. It's got the one thing, ha. And you know, Trump Weasel. It's funny enough. There's a way to extend that into being funnier. But Vaporeon, I think the copy pasta joke really is good. It's a little overplayed because I don't believe that anyone is actually attracted to Vaporeon. I don't believe that. I don't think anybody looks. At, well, I'm sure somebody, but not to the same level as something like low punny. Like I don't think people are looking up a lot of intentional prawn about uh, Vaporeon. Hey, on that Vaporeon, you're on thin ice, mister. <laughs> they ruined a precious bee. Because that's the thing. You look at a Vaporeon video or like a Vaporeon meme, you have no idea if it's going to be wholesome because he is just a bean. He's just a little dude. Oh, yeah. If you don't know about the Vaporeon thing, I'm just going to keep you in the dark link to it. It's probably for the best that you don't. Look up Vaporeon. I'm moving on Vaporeon unless someone's got a strong argument for gum shoes. Because va va the Vaporeon mean I do think is really funny. Because it it does keep you on your toes. It keeps you on your toes. And it really is. It's like a shitpost status. Like you don't know what's about to happen. I'm going Vaporeon. I'm going where's the big Vaporeon. <laughs> I'm dying. Please help me. <laughs> it is a dog. That's the That's the point. All right, Helix Fossil versus Slowpoke. So, Omnite is God. Lord Helix, our God and Savior. You youngins don't get it. But us old timers, me and Link Chu, we're on the wavelength about this. My initial instinct is that our God, Lord Helix, should move on to the finals and live. It Twitch plays Pokemon was such a monumental moment that you just had to be there for. <laughs> if if you weren't there, you don't get why Lord Helix is so funny. 
you had to be in the moment to see Lord Helix become the one constant in this life that would never go away, would never abandon us, the one true God who led us to the Elite Four, Lord Helix. Our God, your Lord and mine, I would die and spread my blood on the altar for Lord Helix. Slowpoke is kind of funny. I do like Slowpoke. I'm not going to undersell Slowpoke. Slowpoke got a bad matchup here, unfortunately. The false prophets tried to stop him, and they couldn't. The anarchy gods, they could not. The, the false prophet dome couldn't do a damn thing to our lord. And we revived him. He rose again from the ashes. But I'm not going to undersell Slowpoke. I do think Slowpoke is funny. I particularly get, not as much as I used to, but back when, like, like classic memes were a thing. What a weird time to join. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Like, back when memes were just, like, a face among, like, a, like a multicolored background, Slowpoke was, like, top dog. Or top otter or whatever the hell Slowpoke is. Like, back when this was a meme format, it was the best. And sometimes it's still funny. I really like that joke. That's like, you are so behind, hey, I, like the two-year slowpoke joke. No one look at that. No one look at that one. Hang on, where is it? I think it's like, um, oh my god. Um, I don't have a slowpoke slow enough. Here it is. This is the one. Uh, open image. A new tab. I really got to zoom in on this one. Holy shit, CC has been watching Laylouch from the beginning. I don't know what this is referring to. But apparently it's a thing in the show that's super obvious that this person just didn't pick up on. I don't have a slowpoke slow enough for this. I'm going to mark your post number down, wait two years, and then reply with a slowpoke. See you in two years, sir. And then two years later, to the day, everyone knows that already, you dumbass. I think that's a really, the best best execution. Like, that's where that joke peaks. It can't get any better than that. (laughs) That's really fun. Um, Slowpoke is great. And he's just like, slow. 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 I love Slowpoke. But, I mean, come on. Our Lord. The one who died and rose again for our sins. Lord Helix. He, Slowpoke has already peaked. There's never going to be a Slowpoke as funny as the one we just said. Our Lord Helix is endless. Timeless. The, the, he was at the beginning and shall be at the end. Winner. Okay. Mudkip versus Sobble. What is a slowpoke to a god? And what is a god to a non-believer in in Mudkip? So both of these are really basic memes. (laughs) He's a friend. Mudkip, if you don't, if you weren't here, because I know there are some people, because this is a really old meme. I don't even know how this meme started. I never thought it was super funny, but I just know it's a meme Pokemon. Is Lord Farquaad a part of this? <laughs> no! Did you say Muslim? <laughs> and here comes Link to kicking in the door going, I like Muslim. <laughs> cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> So the whole joke was, I heard you like Mudkips. <laughs> um, I heard you like Mudkip. And it's spelled wrong. I heard you like Mudkip. So I heard you like Mudkip. I don't know how this image started. What, what the? What? No, I want Mudkip. Is this what it was? Like, it was a spinoff of this meme? I heard you like Mudkip. I heard you like Mudkip. 
like, you can make mud kits. And that's the whole thing. You were just like, yeah, mud kits, a little funny guy. And someone said, I heard you like mud kits. I don't know how it started. Hang on, let's learn something today. How did this meme start? I heard you like mud kit meme origin. Is it from Twitch Play? No, it couldn't be from Twitch Play Plug One. <laughs> yeah, I like the slowly rotating one. Originally, what gives is a catchphrase that became popular, although through its frequent use on 4chan in the mid 2000s. Variations on the spelling, addition of so to the beginning of the phrase can also be found. Like you So it's a 4chan meme. There's more history to this than I knew. You know, let's learn a little bit. A codified story. A boy dresses ass Ketchum, humping a pl Alright, we're done with that now. <laughs> no more humping stories, please. Uh, the other one is Sobble. And Sobble's whole thing <laughs> Sobble's whole thing is his face. Like look at that. It's like surprise Pikachu. This made it again. I think it's really funny. Not as funny as Mudkip though. It was when Cheeseburger Cat was like, I can has Cheeseburger. It was that, like, like that level of spelling. I think Sobble's funny. I don't want to undersell Sobble. But. But I mean, Mudkip. You gotta do Mudkip. Okay. Snom versus Ditto. So Ditto's whole thing is his face. He's a lot of the cultural zeitgeist around Ditto. And like, <laughs> he's just the funny, he's just like a little guy. He's a little blob. And the fact that you can turn into anything, but they all have this face is really funny. That's a, that's a good gimmick. Like, he's like, oh, he's a master of disguise. Except he could never be because you can always tell who it is. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to Mothman. Uh, so Ditto's really fun. I love Ditto. There's a lot. I mean, there's not a lot of real estate to the joke. The, the joke is he's he has a really doofy face and then everything can have the doofy face. He could be anything. He could be a book. <laughs> he could be a ball. He can be a Oh yeah, there's like, <laughs> there's like Frodo Ditto. Prototype Ditto. Ditto has other practical uses. Yes, Ditto is also a wanton whore. We all know this. <laughs> Look how great that is. An unused sprite from Gold and Silver. The, 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 it was going to be a pre-evolution for Ditto. That obviously they cut because why would he need that? Ditto was freaking the Detective Pikachu movie. That is true. Ditto was like a person in the Detective Pikachu. That was cool. I like Ditto quite a lot. But then we got Snom. And Snom is a little, is a little guy. Now granted, he has, he exists in the same joke space as Pukumukupadu, who already we moved up a little bit. He's got a butt face. There is a video I would like everyone to see. Um Snom Evolution Uh YMCA. This is a great video. I'm gonna have to mute it though. It's just You know what song is playing. <laughs> Mothman. Great. Good stuff. High quality. No notes. It has every it checks every box on Link Chew's list. It's a bug. It's cryptid. Uh and <laughs> it is a Mothman. It's great. Snom is wholeheartedly good. Is he better than Ditto? That is the question I am posing to you, chat. Is Snom better than Ditto? Because I think Ditto is like the heavy weighs the crown in this scenario. Because Ditto is legacy. He's a legacy joke. Like, everyone knows Ditto. It's real funny. Everyone knows about Ditto. Snom, a little up-and-comer. He's got some backing to him. He's got the funny bouncing around video. And I think people have even taken that picture of him. Like that gif of him. Oh, this is great. This is great. 
Um, I was going to go into the Point Pleasant for the Mossman. Oh, that's right. Cytle Squid, I think you, you live around Mothman territory, right? <laughs> Take me to the Mothman Festival. Mothman's great. Snom is great. I'm seeing a lot of support for Snom. I just, I, I don't have enough solid stuff. Do we, do we pick the Legacy? Or, oh, this is it. This is really one of I just wanted to get a gif of this. This is great. Wholeheartedly. No notes. This is perfect. Look how awesome this is. I could watch this for hours. I could just watch this happen. Okay, now it's a little seizure inducing, but I could still keep watching it. Mm. The Mothman could theoretically be at your house in five hours. And you'd be like... Do you have any lamp? <laughs> Goatman is my local cryptid. Uh, mine's Sasquatch. I live in Sasquatch territory. Which is a little boring, but it's kind of cool. I saw a bumper sticker the other day that had Sasquatch holding two AK-47s. So he was not only a gun nut, but also a Sasquatch nut. <laughs> a lot of... Alright, you know what? I'm seeing so much Mothman stuff. We're going with Snob. Snob's going to be ditto. Okay. Gardevoir versus Waylord. Both of these have one joke. And we all know what the joke is. Waylord, same thing as Skitty. I don't think we need to spend too much time on it. Actually, Waylord does have a little bit of a joke that he's, like, so ridiculously big. Hello, Captain Kerosene. Did you just wake up? Uh... I think there is a little bit of humor to Waylord. I, there's a lot of humor to Waylord. That he is so stupidly big and so... Ah! Oh, I should have warned everybody. I'm looking at Waylord. Um, he's so stupidly big. He's got such a goofy face with big teeth. Uh, the bracket is meme Pokemon. We're uh, debating two, like, Pokemon that have memes and jokes associated with them and seeing which one is the better joke. Pope Lick. What the? What did you just say to me? Oh. <laughs> uh, got that nap that I was craving. Um, Waylord's really funny in that he's so big. And like any mod that puts him to scale is really funny because everything else is just so tiny. Except he's also super light. And so he flies. I think that's like a really funny joke. But it's just like a classically built joke. The biggest Pokemon that dwarfs most other Pokemon is also just lighter. One of the lightest Pokemon out there. And also, it can fuck a cat and make an egg. Which is, you know, you gotta go to bed. Alright, Baby Prime. Have a good sleep. Wait, Baby Prime, before you go. Gardevoir or Waylord? Waylord I'll, let you, I'll let you choose. I am not gonna Google Gardevoir. Not, not that you were not even... Get that. Hang on. Let's get the um. No, uh, -uh gif. Let's get that. Let's get that going. Yeah, that. That's me googling Gardevoir. Nope. Uh -uh, nope. Um. Gardevoir. Baby Prime has spoken. Okay. I personally like Waylord more, but it seems we got more votes for Gardevoir. Buzzwool versus Furret. Ooh. That's a couple of Titans. Mmm. Buzzwool is the beefiest bug. But Furret is the funny long boy. He walk. He walks so much. Hmm. Like this is this is so great because look at this. Look at him walk. Do you know how many memes there were 
leading up to the Diamond and Pearl remakes of just Furret walking forever, like endless live streams of Furret walking. He's a noodle boy. He's great. Look at him. Look at him go. He's the funny walk boy. I love Furret. He's fantastic. But Fuzzwool. I mean, we had a whole video that was just the comedic, like a whole stream was based around the comedic value of Buzzwool. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at his snooter. Look how he, he has a, a shirt ripped off because he flexed too hard. <laughs> My vote wholeheartedly goes to Buzzwool, I think. But everyone else, everyone except for Link Chu seems to be on Team Furret. And I understand. I like Furret. <laughs> how can you? How can you not? But like, but look. May I present a counter argument? This can can I point out to everyone? Remind everyone of a little fact that we discovered in our live stream of of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Can I remind everyone that this is where he lives? In a buff world of buff trees? <laughs> it has Knuckles Chaotix as music? <laughs> Look how fantastic this is. Look, he is going to smush my head like a grape. Buzzwell is so great. Hang on, hang on. We got the fur. Yeah, sure. Oh no, what happened to fur it? I saved hundreds with Liberty oh, Mutual. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Oh Liberty. <laughs> Good luck. You can watch my own stream. <laughs> oh, it's so long. We need to stream that at some point. Oh, you made it! <laughs> oh, that's so great. Uh, for it, memes beyond Pokemon. It's true. I think the buff world takes away from how buff Buzzful is. That is good. But hang on. It's But I mean, I mean, that's just fantastic. This is great. This is uh, just no notes. That's awesome. Hey, we can watch me. But I mean, wow, this is. Oh, God. I mean, that's just fantastic. Yeah, that's, this guy is really kind of boring. This is great. This is uh, just. No, no. I'm awesome. just I'm just waiting for it to triple. I really want it to triple. But I mean, wow. what, are you watching yourself? Vain asshole, really? God. Oh, God. This guy's a lot. He has a lot to watch, and he yeah. really seems to be smelling his own hairy farts. Yeah, and also, really kind of he doesn't even look like hair. He just looks like a big mini wheat, like just a frosted mini wheat. Triple. I really want it to triple. <laughs> All right, this. Are you watching yourself? This is getting obscene. Being an asshole, really? I'm leaving. God. Oh God. This guy's All a right. Lot. Uh. Anyways, I got distracted. <laughs> um. My personal vote is for is for Buzzwell. But I think Fur is gonna win. I do think Fur is gonna win. It's gonna, it breaks my heart. But you're right, Fur it does go beyond Pokemon. I think Fur is gonna win. All right, Badoo versus Magikarp. Oh, a battle of titans! <laughs> Another battle of titans. 
Her, her, her. Oh, hey, cloth is back. Be glitched, clean. Be, be glitched, king. The glitched king cloth. There we go. We got it. He's here. I know. It makes me sad too. It breaks my heart. But I understand Furth. I understand. Badoof versus Magikarp. Now, both of these guys' thing is that th their joke is that they're so weak that they're the strongest Pokemon. Peanut butter? What did you say to me? <laughs> I, so Badoof, like, there's, oh, a Clawfus here. We're, we're uh, talking about meme Pokemon. We have a bracket of meme Pokemon, and we're deciding which memes are funnier. Like, based off their own memes, we're clashing them together. There is a Pokemon, there's a Pokemon short. With Badoof. There's a Bidoof named Peanut Butter? Badoof Peanut Butter. Oh. Oh, this one. The perfect Badoof. Oh, I have seen this. What? Well, hang on. Is this what you're referring to, Link Chu? Also, I love how it's Captain Pikachu now because of... Hang on. This is cute. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. He almost, he almost murdered his... <laughs> Alright, guys. I know Magikarp is funny. The, the, the exact thing I think about when I think about funny Magikarp is... Um... Is this exact joke? That's what I come to. Imagine walking two kilometers to hatch an egg. It turns out. Can we get one that's not 240p? Thank you. Imagine walking two kilometers to hatch an egg. It turns out to be a fucking magic carp. Corp, 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 corp. Oh, the back. Oh, you will watch a little bit more. I don't want to get copyright struck, though. <laughs> I love how he chooses it. Goes, <laughs> they do have a whole Magikarp game. They have Magikarp Counter. And that's really great. <laughs> Magikarp is really good. Don't get me wrong. I do like Magikarp. And Magikarp is like a complete joke, right? Like... More than Badoof, because where where the joke with Badoof is, he's so doofy and weak, and it's silly. It's silly to imagine him as super strong. Um, but Magikarp within universe is a complete joke because he starts off as the weakest, worst thing ever, not even good food, and then he becomes one of the strongest Pokemon in Gen One. And he becomes this a super awesome dragon thing. Which oh, this is what I was like, Magikarp Splash. <laughs> This is great. I used to play this all the time. And this whole game, they're going... Hang on, let's just get Magic Card Splash. They make great noises. Introducing the incredible new... Yeah, they, like, give Subway ads and they try to make a sandwich. I mean, these are just exquisite noises. Spectacular. But I'm leaning towards Badoof because there is the Pokemon Rusty. Pokemon Rusty's whole thing is the golden god Badoof peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, Magikarp is based on a Chinese legend, but a fish that becomes a dragon. It has a good origin, which a good origin doesn't make it funnier, but does make it more complete. I respect Magikarp more as a like an actual Pokemon than I do Badoof. Whereas Badoof is a funny joke on its own, and he's just a cute little guy, and like that was a great short, and they seem to know how much of a cute little guy it is. You know what? Badoof is the winner. Badoof is moving on. 
Uh, Zubat is not on the bracket, so you can sleep easy knowing that we're not voting for Zubat. I personally, I like Zubat a lot. I don't even think Zubat's a joke. For a while, Zubat was a joke, but I think people have come around on Zubat to not being a joke. It's time to be in the boys at the gym. All right. Now, here's two Pokemon that are funny for opposite reasons. There's Snorlax, who's like, it's really fun to compare people to Snorlax. There's a lot of Snorlax merch. Snorlax is my personal favorite Pokemon because he's such a funny little dude. He's the fat dude. He's a he's a vibe. He likes to eat and sleep. And and his sprites, he stands up and like, look at him. Look, he's great. And they compared him like he's based off of. Oh, I thought that was a bag of Doritos. I was about to lose my shit. Um, he's based off of like one of the directors of the game. Apparently, they're like, yeah, this guy's so fat and lazy and jolly. They just made him one. Like Pokemon, like Snorlax is great. He's within universe, just like Magikarp. He has a complete joke. That's really good. <laughs> Where was I during this event? I don't remember. This is I love that. <laughs> so relax. This is, he's literally me. But Ludicolo. Oh, he, oh, he opened this guy. He angry. <laughs> Hang on. I want to see the Snorlax beanbag chair. If anybody wants to get me a gift. I want the Snorlax beanbag chair. The $80 Snorlax beanbag chair. <laughs> I, I, my birthday is coming up in, in eight months. <laughs> oh, Prime finishes XD, uh, or XG run. There's also Mirby. We're, we're getting to Snorlax. Snorlax is, or we're getting to Ludicolo. Ludicolo... So great. <laughs> I love Ludicolo. His whole thing is he's happy and he's dancing. Hang on, we need a gift of Ludicolo. Hang on, hold on one sec. Gift type. We need a gift, please. <laughs> Come on. Move. Move, damn you. Move. Dance for me. Dance. Look how great this is. Even in the transition to 3D, Ludicolo still dances his little heart out. Still just going. There's the one in Pokemon Coliseum. It, Mirror B, they knew what, what, what comedy they had on the hand. They knew what com well, he they knew what comedy they had in their hand with Mirror B, because they knew Mirror B was really great, and they gave him four <laughs> Ludicolo. <laughs> and they all dance and schmoove and bop and doof around look at him look at him go Ludic like these are opposite ends of the spectrum do we like the pokemon that's super lazy and that's his whole gimmick also ludicolo look like this in detective pikachu we don't talk about that ludicolo. <laughs> uh, that's great i like that just do 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 <gasps> Giovanni with Ludic. Oh, oh, but come on. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I would be so sad to not choose Ludicolo. But also, Snorlax is my favorite. Mm. My PC runs on Ludicolo. He's so great and so self evidently great. Uh, this is. I wish I wasn't seeing that, but this is great. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mirvi runs out of the room and all the Ludicolo follow. <laughs> There's a lot to love about Ludicolo and a lot to love about Snorlax. Let's get rapid fire votes. I'm going to actually, I'm going to walk away for a minute. I'm not going to go to break. I'm just going to walk away for a minute. I'm just going to disappear for a minute. Uh, and everyone else, you tell me which one that you would like me to to choose. Ludicolo, Snorlax, and we'll count the votes when we get back. I'm going to abstain from this one unless I have to do a tiebreaker. Okay, I'm walking away.
All right, I'm back. Wait, hang on. Let me let me walk back. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I, I just realized also I was muted. I was talking to you guys for a second. Anyways, I'm back. I'm looking at it. Um, let's see. One, two. Link two voted for both. I, I think so. One, two, three for Ludicolo. And then one, two, three for Snorlax. You don't count as four unless you're like four dogs in an overcoat, or like you're like four mice trying to get into an R-rated movie. <laughs> mm. Link Chu, since you voted for both, uh, be the tiebreaker. Are you are you voting for Snorlax? Because you said that one first. Mm. Honestly, I might just flip a coin for this one. It is really hard to choose. All right, let's do it. Let's flip a coin. Honestly. All right. Heads for Snorlax. <sighs> oh, God. Sorry. Pardon me. Baja Blast. They'd be doing that. Uh, Flip a coin. Heads is going to be Snorlax. Tails, Ludicolo. And it's Snorlax. It is Snorlax. Snorlax is our winner. And that is round one of the bracket. Now, if you've been looking at this meme like, wow, this is taking a while, don't worry. Brackets usually go a lot faster the second time through. Shuckle versus Alolan Executor. Um, we've already given our reasoning for both of these. I think the humor behind Alolan Executor is a lot more going for it. There's other Pokemon that do that this Pokemon is doofy and not very good, better than Shuckle. But Shuckle does have rhyming. He's got don't fuckle with Shuckle. Um... <clears throat> I know. Google Google betrayed us all. It was supposed to be the one to save us, but instead it just betrayed us all. Egg boy. <laughs> Egg boy! <laughs> Alright, we got a lot going for a load of executor. You know what we need? We need some music going on right now. Some light lo-fi Pokemon music. Actually, you know, no, 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 let's do, um, yeah, yeah, let's do fine. Wow, we're watching a stream in a stream. It's Streamception. There we go. Everyone go look at Futaba Cafe. All right. Um, is that too loud? Let me know if it's too loud. Some elevator music. It looks like a little executor is winning. I'm cool with that. I'm here for that. Pikachu versus Wooper. The Pokemon Stadium minigame menu music? <laughs> yeah, it could work. Uh... Um, is that... One extended, one extended version. I don't have to loop it. This is the Pokemon team. All right, let's do that. I like that. All right, everyone's seeing Wooper. I think Pickle Chew has a lot of. Yeah, Pickle Chew. He's the. Uh... The mascot of the Pokemon series. You know him. You know Pikachu. What do you mean? He's yellow. He's... Sometimes he's surprised. He has... He likes brined cucumbers. <laughs> you know, Pikachu. You know the one. Surely you know Pikachu. How can you know any Pokemon if you don't know Pikachu? I'll even look him up for you. Pikachu. Pikachu. Right here. See this guy. Pikachu. Pickle Chew. Yeah, it's, you know. Wooper. Everyone's in agreement. I agree. Wooper has way too much potential. He's so happy and doesn't have arms. He's a little guy, and I love him. Wooper. Bada bing. Easy. Puka Mooka Badoo versus Gulpin. 
A lot of people add, like came to bat for Gulpin, which I wasn't expecting. I personally think Gulpin, Gulpin is better. I was expecting people to kind of be like, yeah, Gulpin, that's not really a funny Pokemon. But people really like Gulpin. Pukamuku is the only Pokemon we've canonically seen being thrown within a game by a human being, which is really funny. <laughs> what is Pooper? Pooper's not... No, this is Wooper and Pickle Chew. Not, not Whoop, not Pooper. Not Pooper. Pickle Chew. Gulpin. People are saying... I, you know? Mm, oh, we got some... Some arguments here. I mean, need I bring up the picture of Gulpin again? I personally am pulling for Gulpin. I'll acknowledge my my uh, bias here is is for Gulpin because I love Swalla. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Look at this, everyone! Is everyone looking? Look at this! Look how fantastic this is! Can you deny how great this is? <laughs> he's running at you! Look, he spitzoos! <laughs> <laughs> pooper is the, the Paldean Wooper. Oh, that's right. There is Pooper. We are also considering Pooper. <laughs> it's a gulpin being a gulpin by a, a uh, whatever. Goblin. <laughs> Look at this gulpin eating donuts. This is great. I love gulpin. I love his face. He looks like Chobin. He looks like the butt coconut on a lone executor. <laughs> Honestly. We got a lot of votes for Gulpin. We got one for Puka Muka Badu. Wooper Wooper. Hey. <laughs> I love Pooper Wooper. He's great. I love Baldean. I love how he's pink. Was that a Gulpin Rat King? <laughs> it may have been. It, oh, yeah. I could get dicey. That was very risky. <laughs> we got, they got Pooper Gooper. Eeper, Booper, and Stooper. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, you know what? All right, so uh, uh, Gulpin, you can move up do. People seem to be pulling for Gulpin. I'm about to check Gulpin. Unless someone's gotten a really big argument for this music. Sorry, driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... Uh, let's, uh, uh Gulpin or Puka Muka Badoo? I'm thinking Gulpin. <gasps> Mr. Mime or Dunsparce? Mm. Hmm. That one's hard. Because I do like Dunsparce. I need to bring up the, uh, the fat snake again. The fat snake yokai. Because <laughs> that's what... This is what Dunsparce is. And knowing that makes this a thousand times funnier. I'm still a fat, stubby snake. Dunsparce is good. I like Dunsparce and the Dunsparce. But hang on, lest we forget, Mr. Mime is Ash's dad. <laughs> My dad. My poor dad. Look at him just standing there. They're the ones making it so weird. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that is weird. Why does he eat food like a Pokemon on the ground and sit on the beach like a human being? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's just get Dunsparce and get out of this mental space, please. Thank you. All right, cool. Dunsparce, Dunsparce. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a battle of Titans. Okay. Our Lord and Savior. The one, the progenitor, and the decimator. Helix. Lord Helix. Versus the funny Pokemon. <laughs> Dunsparce is such a perfect Pokemon that the evolved form is just more Dunsparce. It's true. And there's a special form that's yet more Dunsparce. <laughs> I have talked about this before. Some people weren't here for it. I love the Vaporeon joke. It hits in a different space than, say, joking about Gardevoir being a, a Coomer Pokemon. Oh, but I'm also feeling Helix. Oh, that's the problem. Helix has so much history for me. And 
for a lot of people, and it's such a great joke. It, it like honestly, Twitch plays Pokemon was the start of like Pokemon Challenge runs, and that's why I'm here with an audience at all. <laughs> Can you? Oh yeah, Helix would be upset with me. You know what? If I voted for Helix for the funny Vaporeon, the, the funny fish dog that people like to tend to be attracted to, I, he would never forgive me. But hang on, I have a counter argument. Vaporeon lick. Okay. Vaporeon licks you. Now, before I play this video, everyone has an image in their mind how this video is going to go. It's going to be a Grammarly video, obviously. That was adorable. Thus is the joke of Vaporeon. You never know if it's gonna be adorable or horrible. <laughs> no one's no one's picking up what I'm putting down. All right, Helix Fossil, let's do it. I tried to fight against the guy, but there's just no fighting against the one true hero. <sighs> Mudkip versus Nom. Honestly, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, can I be real honest with you? I don't quite get. The do you like Mudkip's joke? Like, I, I, I get it. I do. I, I understand. Like, it, it's just a meme. But at this point, I think it's only funny. It's not even funny. Like, it's only a joke because it's been a joke before. Like, it doesn't really have a good origin. It just was like a thing people said on 4chan a lot. Do you like Mudkip's? And then it just kind of grew out of control. It's now an Ouroboros eating its own tail. Snom. Snom is way funnier. I love Snom. He's just a little dude. I wholeheartedly vote for Snom. He dances. He's a little boy. You can't vote between your kids, Mudkip and Snom. No, I'm I'm all on Team Snom. My vote wholeheartedly goes to Snom. I like Mudkip as much as the rest of the guy. As much as next as the other guy. Next hair boy. But Snom. It's not hang on. If I just looked up Snom. Oh yeah, let's let's look up Mudkip. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I look up Mudkip funny. I look up Snom funny. What gives the best results? <laughs> you gonna tell me you're not gonna vote for this? You're not gonna look for <laughs> vote for this? You're not gonna vote for that? <laughs> Hang on, let me get out of the way. You're not gonna vote for that? <laughs> my child, my boy, my son, my son, my boy. And instead, you're gonna vote for. Okay, that is pretty great. Let me get out of the way. That is pretty good. People seem, people seem to be on the Mudkip train. And if that's what people want, I'll do that. But I will point out right now, I'm, I'm in opposition to that decision. But if that's the popular vote, that's the popular vote. No one seems to be coming to bat for Snom. So, Mudkip it is. Oh, ain't no way Mudkip beats Lord Helix next round. All right, Gardevoir versus Longboy. I think this is easy. Personally, like, Gardevoir might have beaten Waylord, but, I mean, I I know, but, hey, Leech, you're looking to pull that. You voted for Mudkip. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you didn't vote for Mudkip. All right, never mind. I love Mothman. Mm. All right, well, we moved on. Mudkip wins that one. Gardevoir versus Furret. Gardevoir's whole thing is, ha ha, it's a woman. Furret is the long boy. He's so long and walks so far. how he do that? how he be so long and move so far? Why are you voting for Gardevoir, Cloth? You people are insane! <laughs> it's so basic. I agree entirely. Furret, he's long! Furret is long. Look at him. Look how long. <laughs> Look how long. <laughs> also, Furret has the best plushie. A blush, a plushie of Gardevoir would be crusty and gross. This one is hug size. This one's hug size. I 
I can't even look up Gardevoir. <laughs> Gardevoir, like, tell me you're either a horny dude or gay. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. My vote is leaning towards Furret. I see one person voting for Gardevoir. Everyone else is like the the Furret plushie is so perfect. I know I said I wanted the the Snorlax beanbag chair, but I also wouldn't say no to Long Furret. <laughs> Look at him. Mm. <laughs> Both. All right. Unless someone has a really strong art, like a cloth, I'll give you a couple, you know, a little bit to defend your choice. What is it about Gardevoir, the joke of Gardevoir, that is so funny? Because there is some inherent humor to it, like, aha, it's, it's, it's horny, haha. But there is so much more length, in more ways than one, to the fur joke. That is my argument. There's like Furret has so much more. He's such a more pleasant dude. He's a little guy. He's a slinky. Like he's a ferret, but also big. <laughs> I will wait one minute and give Cloth a chance. The memes are good. Yeah, but tell me. Uh, you tell me. I can't look up the memes. If I look up Guard of War, I this stream will get taken down. Ha, huh, it's a woman. Exactly. Now I am biased. I am an ace for a ball. We've talked about this before. But it's uh, it, it, even even as an ace for a ball, sometimes haha, yes, sex funny. I get it. Yes, sometimes it is. I don't think this is one of those times. I mean, it's funny enough, but it's not funnier than long boy. That's all I'm saying. I'm voting for long boy. I'm doing it. You don't have the hair to look at me. I don't. It's not that I don't have the hair for it. It's that I'll, I'll get demonetized if I look up Gardevoir. We already already saw a compromised image of Vaporeon. The new versus Snorlax. In terms of which is funnier, I think Bidoof wins. I hate to say that, it breaks my heart, because I love Snorlax. We've talked about it before, he's my favorite Pokemon. But in terms of, like, pure humor, I think Bidoof wins. Because Bidoof has lots, because he's cute, he's a little guy, and he's also silly. I think Bidoof wins. Snorlax has one joke, his snow joke is that he lays in the road, and that's a good joke! He's like a lazy dude, and like he's literally me for real, for real. I get it. But Badoof has a lot more going for it, I think. In terms of just humor, if it's like Pokemon, like which Pokemon would I rather use? Oh, Snorlax every day. Snorlax would probably win this whole bracket. Snorlax is marketable, but so is Badoof. They made a whole animation of Badoof. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's Badoof plushies. Hang on. But do plushies. <laughs> that's not official. That's Etsy, but it's so cute. That's. Oh, I thought that was a costume. I thought that was just a dude. <laughs> I thought that was a dude. Um, all right, yeah, let's look at Snorlax memes. I'll look at Snorlax memes. I'm not afraid of Snorlax memes. It took her like 17 years and 8 months to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that meme a lot. <laughs> That's also really good. I like that. I'll go somewhere over. I'll never sleepy store like fall. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about how the seventh largest pyramid in the world is Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, I used to live near that. Oh, th okay. That is comedy gold. I'll give you that one. The Snorlax Z move is comedy gold. Pulverizing pancake. It's really good. Like that, 
that is an iconic image. I love that. <laughs> That's really good. I'm sad we didn't get to see it in our Let's Play, in our, in our streaming of it. Overrising Pancake is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just look at that. POV, you are some bacon on the grill. <laughs> oh, that is really good. Oh, now I'm, now I'm mm, split. There's a lot of arguments for, for Snorlax. That's an excellent point, Clough. Excellent point. Oh, that is some furry shit. Um, anyways. <laughs> Call the shoes in the Yamcha pose. That's really funny. I'm gonna get out of the fattest area of image results. Um Ooh, okay. Um it is hard to say, honestly. Let's get some rapid fire votes. Everyone is here. Let's let's get a vote. Did you get me with what? You did get me with that. That is you all might have swayed my decision. Let's get some rapid fire votes. I am split on this one. I'm not sure. It might just give him the edge. You're right. Mm, okay. Rapid fire votes. Everyone put in your vote for Snorlax or Badoof. I will look away and answer a text. Okay, I'm back. Um, two Snorlax, two Bidoof. Damn it! Damn it! Hmm. Baby Prime, you do appear to be holding the tiebreaker. Is it Bidoof or Snorlax? No, there's two Doofs. Link, you voted for Bidoof. Baby Prime has spoken. Snorlax is the winner. It was a hard-fought battle. I thought Badoof had that handily. Like, the votes don't lie. Okay. No, we're not going to that one. Alone and Executor versus Wooper. As much as I like the jokes around Alone and Executor, he's got a lot of comedic humor around it. Wooper's just a little guy. He's got no arms, and he's so happy about it. Alone Executor's got a butt coconut, which is good. It's fantastic. Love the butt coconut. And he extends off screen in most of his appearances, which is fantastic. That is a comedy goal. That is just practical TV comedy right there. The Wooper can use Ice Punch. Wooper can use Ice Punch. He doesn't have arms. That's already great. He's got Pooper. He's got Scooper. <laughs> and everyone seems to be voting for Wooper. Yeah, I think Wooper's got it. I like Alone and Executor. I don't want to undersell it, but Wooper's just got it. It is wild to me that Quagsire lost round one, and then Wooper is going to the semifinals. <laughs> All right. Gulpin versus Dunsparce. I do love the tall boy as well, but everyone's voting for Wooper. Gulpin versus Dunsparce. Hmm. I don't know. This is not the matchup I saw coming. Dunsparce is great. Once again, I bring up Fat Snake Yokai. <laughs> like, this, this is just wholeheartedly wonderful. Wholeheartedly wonderful. But then I got to bring up this other image. And after everything, even after we get past, like, base jokes of just like like visual humor of Gulpin and Swalot and my ex and whatever um if if we just get past that like Gulpin still has Gulpin these nuts that was the whole reason I put him on this loose at all I think I think Gulpin's got it everyone's voting for Gulpin Saw a small ant clip where he actually let Wooper evolve, but he threw in. The I like Quagsire. Was everyone shitting on Quagsire? <laughs> Just a good fucking double jump. 
for some reason, it's really funny. Like, that's a video game power, but picturing somebody doing it in real life is really funny to me. Like a snake that can double jump, just boom, boom. <laughs> wow. Okay, good idea. I think it's got to be Gulpin. Everyone seems to be voting for Gulpin. Gulpin wins over Dunsparce. Dunsparce out. Wow. All right. I think we all see what this is going. Lord Helix versus Mudkip. I have an image that I think is going to sell over anybody. Actually, let's see what the general the general idea behind it is uh, between Helix Fossil and Mudkip. And I have an image that if Helix Fossil is losing, I would like to present to you. My my thinking is most people are going to go for Helix Fossil because these are two these are two legacy memes going up against each other. But I think Lord Helix, our Lord and Savior, the Divine One amongst the skies, the long snail in the cloud, Lord Helix, has got to be our winner. The reborn and shall be die again. Oh, people are voting for Mother Kip. Okay. Then I will withhold my image for Lord Helix that makes it even better. It looks like people are voting for Lord Helix. If anyone has any arguments in favor of Mudkip, I've heard you like them. That is true. Speak now, but I am not going to go to bed for Mudkip. I'm Lord Helix all the day, all day long. In this. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll give my son Mudkip to me. <laughs> and you shall accept your offering. All right. Long boy versus fat boy. Damn. I don't know. I mean, there's always. Uh, I mean, there's this stream. You guys know you can get free pizza? Oh my god. <laughs> there's this stream that ran for a very long time until the Diamond and Pearl remakes were released. I remember spending many a day looking at this stream. It was pretty great. Look, it's got the long boy, and it kept getting crazier and crazier. Her really only has the one joke. Oh, but this... I have legitimately, like, studied this video. This is... <laughs> uh, I have a lot of connection to Furret. I like Furret a lot. He's just a long boy. And he walk. He walks so much. But Snorlax is really good. May I remind you of pulverizing pancake. <laughs> Look how great this is. Look at it. Look how great this is. Unequivocally wonderful. It's got the anime eyes. Snorlax is in Smash, where he goes, Snorlax! <sighs> I like that a lot. Snorlax Smash GIF. <laughs> what, are they, what, what are they doing to this poor boy? <laughs> Why, why is he dressed like a berry? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> why is he dressed like a berry? <laughs> this is what I was thinking. Of. There he goes. <laughs> like, that's just comedy gold. That's great. I love that. Hmm. <laughs> I think Snorlax has it. Some people are voting for Furret. I don't want to just... Cause I don't know. There's a lot. Whoa, hang on. What is going on here? <laughs> Come on, guys. Look at that. Bah. Bah. <laughs> oh, they use him as a trampoline in the Pichu special. That's great. He stands up. He evore. This is fantastic. Need I remind you, Snorlax has this. He also has funny walk. Mm. <laughs> so like says this <laughs> that's just mean 
<laughs> it's just a mean joke. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> It's hard to say. We have two votes for Snorlax and one vote for Furret. I, as much as I've been advocating for Snorlax, I, I think Snorlax has it. He's got a lot of humor to him. Honestly, Furret is just a long boy. That's that one. Then we we do love Furret. <laughs> this is horrifying. I hate that I'm looking at this. This makes me like for it less. <laughs> but that makes me like a more. Look at this. It's Afro for it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mirror view would have. Mm, I don't know. For it is unequivocally the best, like, opening route normal type. He is my favorite. I don't know. On. There's Furret merch. So Furret's like most iconic thing is this. He's got this going on. He's got long pillow for oh my god, thirteen hundred dollars. Um, but Snorlax has the beanbag chair. <sighs> he oh, there was first little head popping up in the snow. That did happen. What is this? There he go. <laughs> but that... I can't believe that happened to Fur. It. When Doug and Andre came to TurboTax... <laughs> he evaded his taxes. Good <laughs> luck. Like... This is awesome. This is fantastic. I love the kind of go. The thing is, here's the thing about that. That is more cute than funny. That's not inherently funny. That's adorable. That's adorable. But I think Snorlax has it. Snorlax has like more built in jokes. I think the Snorlaxes have it. We've got a couple votes for Snorlax. And we got one vote for Furret. I'm going to go for Snorlax. Okay. Semifinals. We got Wooper versus Gulpin. I got no idea. I'm... Hmm. I'm not sure on this one. I, I just don't know. I like... Wo my, my heart tells me Wooper should be the winner of this he's the funnier guy there's uh applaud the Claude, of course we had acquire the sire earlier then we got applaud the quad which is equally as fantastic i mean here he comes here comes pooper look at him he did have to stay. <laughs> mm. Whoopy boy, we got one for Gulpin, one for Whooper. My personal vote is for Whooper. I think Whooper's gonna win it for Gulpin. Let's let's look at Gulpin. Let's see if there's any videos about Gulpin. Gulpin. There's, uh, uh, that, <laughs> there's that going on. Uh, these are all from the anime though. No one's like made animations of Gulpin. Gulpin has Gulpin these nuts. Whooper. A lot of people are voting for Whooper. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I like that. There's this little gulping creature, and, and, and you know what? I'm going to go with the popular crowd here. I'm going to go with people seem to be liking Whooper. Get rid of Whooper. 
All right. This is a hard fought battle. These are titans. I have no idea who wins this. He is our Lord and Savior. He turned water into more water because there is no wine. It's a kid's game. He walked on more water. It's not that impressive. He is a water type. But our Lord and Savior, Lord Helix. But here's the thing. I think Lord Helix has the edge of her over Snorlax. Because if we just look at their two most basic jokes, like Lord Helix is the god behind Pokemon, behind uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon, and Snorlax has Wolverine the Pancake, and he's got the fact that he's fat, but sometimes he gets up and like he's wearing like a citrus berry. Like, there's a lot to like about Snorlax. He's my favorite Pokemon. I have so much. I have Snorlax merch on my desk right now. <laughs> like, I have a lot. <laughs> hmm. But I do have one more thing for Lord Helix. See if I can find this image. This. Everyone just like look at this picture. I'm not gonna download Instagram. Okay. Oh look at this picture. Look at him. He is shaking hands. He is shaking hands. Please make your claims. I would agree with the way your people with a customary human hand touch. Look at this. Look how great this is. Look how marvelous. Lord Helix, baby. Lord Helix. Hang on. There's one more. Hey, we just look at Ammonite. Dab. This is one of my favorite images on the internet. How are you? I oh, gotta pull it up in another tab. How are you, friend? Oh, we gotta look in. We gotta zoom in. How are you, friend? Teach me how to dab, please. God damn, here I go. I mean, you can't write this stuff. You can't write this stuff. Looks like we are pretty split here, because my vote's for Lord Helix. Uh, it appears that Prime's vote is for Snorlax. Kloss' vote is for Snorlax. A Talkinator is for Lord Helix. I am for Lord Helix. I'm pretty sure Link Chew would be for Lord Helix, although I don't want to speak for them. Hmm. It's hard to say. You can't look at him go. God damn, he's dabbing. You ever seen let's look what let's see what happens when I look up Snorlax dab. Okay, well, I guess that is pretty spectacular. Damn. That, oh, okay. I mean, if we if we need to start bringing in this stuff, I mean, Snorlax probably has a lot of that. I'm saying Snorlax probably has a lot of that. A lot of this right here. This is abomination. This is straight awful. Although I guess it is funny in its own way. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's... <laughs> Snorlax is a lowland form. <laughs> that's really good. Uh... Damn, I don't know. I need someone who hasn't voted yet to make a vote. And that will be the tiebreaker. Lord Helix will punish the sinners. See, that's the thing. If we don't vote for Lord Helix, we will be cast into the furnace, never to re never to return. Christian's mom is nicknamed. Oh no, that's awful. Christian sexually assaulted his mom. Oh no, this Snorlax is dabbing too. Oh no. Good morning. Ah, there's just oh, there's a lot of comedic potential with Snorlax. Easy, Lax. Captain Kerosene saw the opportunity and took it. Snorlax 
is the winner. Oh God, I think it just it just lightninged outside. Oh my, it did it again. Oh God, what have we done? What have we done? We well, better get through the finals quickly, or I'm going to be smited. Whooper versus Snorlax. I'm not going to influence anyone anyway. We have already established our arguments for this one. We've looked at our arguments for Snorlax, our arguments for Whooper. I'm not going to say who I'm in favor of. Let's see what you guys have to say. Whooper versus Snorlax. Who is our winner in the meme Pokemon bracket? I'm waiting. Whooper wins it all. Okay. All right. All right. What incredible timing. Personally love Wooper, and I will stay with Wooper. Pulverizing Pancake. Cloth has got the one track of mine. Unchanging, unwavering in the face of the opposition. Two Whoopers, one Snorlax. You, the confetti, drop the banner. We all know who wins it all. The banner says, congrats, Wooper, and it has to start. Well, somebody might have ordered the banner too quickly. I will give it a few minutes. I'll give it a few minutes before I click on a winner. Because right now it's 2-1. You have food in the brain, just like Snorlax. And Snorlax was dressed like a berry, which is very funny. Any other votes to be submitted? Now is your time. Because, because we're before too much longer, we will have to submit the Snorlax. Or the Whooper. Sorry, the Whooper is currently in the lead. Any other votes? I'm going to abstain. Whooper versus Snorlax. We got one minute. Oh, Captain Kerosene is remaining suspiciously silent in the face of Cloth begging for support. Thirty seconds. Last chance to get your votes in. And it's decided by a council of experts. Oh, Squid coming in at the last minute, Lax. Before I can click it. Well, damn. <laughs> squid to the rescue. God damn. Here I go. Hmm. Well, personally, let's look at the meme. Let's look at Snorlax meme. And let's look at Wooper meme. Are you Wooper? Yes, I'm Wooper too. So, are you better than me? Well, I never met you, but yes. <laughs> Wooper is so stupid. I need like 80,000 of them. Wooper is too close to have owning a dog that's so stupid you can't go living without it. <laughs> that's great. That's self-evidently great. I'm weak. Look at them. Look at them. I'm going to run myself over the car. I'm so happy. Wooper is so silly. Mm, Wooper looks pleased that everyone is drowning. <laughs> Wooper is steadily keeping up with you. That's adorable. <laughs> this. <laughs> mm. 
Why do we have hands? There are many reasons. Pat the Whooper. Hold the Whooper. Cherish the Whooper. Forfeit all mortal possessions to Whooper. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> That's a great meme. <laughs> Whooper. <laughs> oh, there's also Whooper Trooper. Forgot about that. Tina used to worry about bad breath. Now, I also used to worry about bad breath, but then I died. She uses their breath mouth. Okay, but there's there's this whooper. Look how great this whooper is. Look at him go. He's buff. Boofer. Okay, um, so that's whooper. Now we go to Snorlax. The Snorlax meme. There's me on the weekends. That's pretty good. Took sort of sort of like 17 years to get up. It is also pretty good. Snorlax has also felled some giants. I just want to point that out. We look back at this. Snorlax has felled giants. He beat Ludicolo, which is already like a hard qualifier. He beat Badoof, which that was a big sell. There's a lot of people on here who weren't happy about that. Beat the Long Boy, which I never thought. I thought Long Boy was a shoe in for the finals. But no. And he beat Lord Helix, our god. We are going to be smited for Snorlax. And that is an argument in Snorlax's favor. Path is blocked. That's good. Our girl summer is over. Sleepy Snorlax fall. But I see your point there, baby Prime. Snorlax has corporate memes. <laughs> Fucking I'm an ecosystem now. <laughs> Snorlax has the corporate memes, whereas Whooper has the, the community memes. But Snorlax also has more variety of memes. Pokemon Home. Pokemon Asleep. Pokemon Meals. I block past before a pseudo Buddha. That's awful. Um this is um well sinful, really. Just just sinful. Sort of like in particular does not mean this. Is this supposed to be me? It's got pulverizing pancakes. If you are asking me, I think Wooper wins. But this is community. If I had to vote, I think I would vote for Wooper. Oh, but that's really great. There's more cast of like I'm dying how adorable this is. This is why I need a Snorlax beanbag chair. I need to put some cats on it. I'm going to put my girlfriend's cats on it. There's a Star David Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, none of these memes are as good as the the Whooper memes. No, no, we can't we can't coin flip the finals. A lot of Snorlax is like making fun of people. Like, I don't think that's very funny. Or was it one of the guy falling down and like blew up the building? Like, I don't think like this stuff is really funny. That's what a lot of Snorlax is. Whooper is wholeheartedly wholesome. Looks like a Snorlax animation. Are there any? We've seen three Whooper ones. Four, actually, four. Now, granted, three of them are from the same guy, but you know, I guess. More like animation. This pulverizing pancake, which is good. All right, let's go ahead and look at it. It's so easy to get your windshield replaced using. Man, I really I love YouTube. So what do we do the now? ad system is so non-intrusive, and like I love that we can't use ad blocker anymore. I have to give the, the thumbs up. Ah, oh, it's so good, so good. I love it, just love it. I 
I forgot he did a flip. That is really good. I mean, it's not a community meme. It is definitely a generated meme. But they, they, a lot of this has been them seeing the comedic potential in a Pokemon and giving it to them. Like there is like Wooper new Pokemon Snap stuff where Wooper is funny. Like look at that. Like that's that's corporate. This is technically corporate. Like. Pokemon Company recognizing that Wooper and Snorlax are great. I don't think it should be points against them. Like, look at this. This is just as valid. I wanted him to pick him up. There you go. See you right there? I really need to play this game. <laughs> Super great. Just wholeheartedly awesome. No notes. That's great. Is Mew just, like, chilling out in the middle of a level? The hell is this game? Hmm. Wooper. <gasps> oh, no. Sad Wooper. Dude, Quagsire's got so mad. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to choose. Which there's a, oh, there's a lot of like, Snorlax and Whooper getting along. So clearly, the community recognizes that these are two titans. Oh, come on. Look how great that was. Look how great this is. <laughs> oh. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I think is going to sell it. Snorlax is great. When you look at Snorlax, like you see his whole thing, and they put him in scenarios that makes him funny. And there's memes that make him funny. I look at Wooper, just look at him. I just look at him. I'm already happy. I think Wooper wins it. No, 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 we're not calling it tied. Like, somebody has to be second place, and there's no shame in second place. He does become an island when he's Gigantamax. Link to, you're back. Link Chu, be our, be our tiebreaker. Wooper or Snorlax? Don't look back at the chat. Wooper or Snorlax? <laughs> Wooper does. Whopper does have Wi Fi. Don't let the chat influence you. Snorlax or Wooper? There's a lot of pressure, I understand, if you deny this. If you say, no, I'm not deciding that, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have, you do not have to decide it. It's hard, it's a hard decision. If you choose to abstain, that is okay, you can do that. Let's see. That's where I was going with that. He has a face. Face, no thoughts. Wooper is our winner. Wooper is. Hold on, can I zoom out? Is there like a, a place where it like honors Wooper? Nope. Okay. This is our bracket. This is our bracket. Wooper beat Delibird, Pickle Chew. See, Wooper didn't beat as many Titans. 
but yet I think Wooper is the winner. Snorlax had a hard fought battle. He beat Ludicolo, Badoof, Furret, Lord Helix. But Wooper is just the winner. It's a fair point. Some parts of Snorlax do feel marketable, market designed. Whereas Wooper is just a little guy. Wooper's our winner. And that is our stream, everybody. Uh, Lord Helix lost to... Um, he lost to Snorlax. I was very surprised, but he did lose to Snorlax. I didn't decide. You may unsubscribe if you wish. I think that is a petty reason to unsubscribe, but I understand. That is our stream. Thank you for joining us. This was fun. This was a good, like, little side thing to to do. I I also will have next Wednesday off. I don't know if we'll do the same thing. I'll I'll pull it again. We might do a drawing. Like us in the one in the title that we didn't do, and it's my fault. I mean, honestly, yeah, but <laughs> we didn't do the Home Alone one. That's okay. You've all become heathens. <laughs> I almost got smited. I got smitten. <laughs> this was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Remember remember the 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 fish, the sea creatures? That was great. I like that. Fat Batman was here for a minute. Okay. Well, I'm going to get some gluten-free double stuff Oreos and oat milk. Mm -hmm.